Oh, there you are. Just about made that, actually. <laughs> there were so many bits and pieces to do tonight. Good evening to you, gang. It's uh, Thursday night, the 2nd of January 2020. Welcome along to a little uh, late night chat show this evening. I say late night. It's not exactly late. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we are... Uh, we got the new scroller. Here, I've, just, I've been doing this, you see. That's why I'm late. I was trying to get that bleeding scroller thing to go in. Uh, anyone who's watching Facebook Live, have a little look at that, boys and girls. Um, yes, I was doing bits and pieces here. And, of course, we're up against the second episode of Dracula tonight, dear. And it was very, very good. Very, very good last night. The first episode, I think it was. Uh, but I shall certainly be watching that uh, a little bit later on on the BBC iPlayer as soon as I've finished the uh, uh, the show this evening. So thanks ever so much for joining us tonight. Um, after the uh, show this morning, funnily enough, uh, I had to change a bottle of gas here in our Lincolnshire television studio complex. We don't have mains gas here. Can you believe that? No mains gas, exactly. So I've got bottles of gas jam just around the side of the caravan. I mean, our Lincolnshire uh, studio complex here. And it, it's funny. Uh, the last time I changed the gas bottle was back in April. So that's not bad going. Now, I don't have gas central heating here in this caravan. I've got an electrical heat pump system, which is OK. I would say it's not quite as good at central heating, but it's not bad. OK, it's not bad. Um, therefore, I don't use much gas anyway. But I mean, April, I've just found a little bit of cotton there. April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I mean, that's not bad. Ten months on a bottle of gas, is it? You know, I got to sort of October, November. I think that gas is going to go any moment now. And I was lucky. I was really lucky because usually a bottle of gas, when I say goes, it runs out. OK, a bottle of gas will usually go at two o'clock in the morning on a very cold night when it's pouring down with rain and you're in the shower and you'd be in the shower. Lovely hot water coming down on you. OK, and um, it would suddenly go dead cold, like freezing cold water. I mean, what are you going to do? You haven't got much choice, have you? You know, you've got to get out of the shower, out of the house and round and change the gas bottle. Not a pleasant experience. Well, I was very lucky because literally <coughs> <coughs> this morning after the show, I went outside. I was just washing my hands and I thought, oh, that water's suddenly gone cold. And I knew what it was straight away. So I bet that gas bottle was gone. So I turned the cooker on and the flame was like very, very weak on there. And that's when I knew. Went round the side of the caravan. And you can feel these great, I mean, these gas bottles are this high. They're orange and they're this high. Right. And I managed to get round the side. And uh, the old one comes away fairly easily. And you can kind of roll that. You could probably lift that one, actually. The new one, no, you won't lift that. They're really heavy and they're kind of in a cupboard. Uh, to stop them getting too cold or stop stop the frost frost getting to them. And it was a, it's only the second time I've done that. This time I found it easy because the nuts on these gas bottles, they go opposite to the way you'd normally do them. So to get to undo the nut, you go clockwise. I don't know why gas bottles are made like that. And to do them back up, you go anti-clockwise. Anyway, put it in. You've got a little turning thing there. You turn that back on. And uh, the gas starts flowing again. And lovely hot water all over again. Yes, very nice indeed. So I had to tell you about that gas bottle there. Um, I managed, those of you regular viewers wondering about the key rings, I managed to talk to the company this morning. And uh, they're going to look into that for me and get back to me. Uh, they said, do I want a refund? I said, no, I want some more key rings because we've got some key rings uh, that we're going to do as uh, Super Chats. And bing, um, raffle prizes, I think it was. Did, is that what I said? And bingo prizes as well. So whatever way, as soon as they become available, I'll let you know, my darlings. OK. Uh, then I left my house after the gas bottle, went over to my nephew's house. And I must say, I felt a little bit guilty, actually, because the petrol light came on. So I stopped at this petrol station, not an Asda. OK, so instead of 118 a litre, it was like... 127 a litre and I thought oh well I just put a little bit in here I went in there I think I put about nine quid in and then I went for it's a very dilapidated old sort of petrol station near Woodhall Spa actually and uh, I went in there with my little credit card and behind the desk were sitting two elderly people I mean elderly okay they both look like they're in the 70s there's a little old man 
and there's a little old lady sitting there. And I said, oh, good morning. And, you know, I was a little bit shocked by that. Where's the young people that are usually there? Anyway, and it was at that moment it occurred to me that this is their business, right? And there's me going in there to save a little bit of money, okay? And 127, I'm thinking, oh, I'm not paying that. I'll just fill up enough to get me to the Asda tomorrow where it's only 118 a litre. And I kind of handed over, first of all, put me American Express in. It weren't having none of that. Now... In my opinion, if, if, a, if a company can't take an American Express card, they can't really afford to pay American Express to take those cars. I'm, I'm feeling quite guilty now. There's these two old people, and I, I realise that, of course, this is their business. All they've got is this little old dilatab, dilapidated garage with old, I mean, really old pumps. I don't know how much longer they're going to keep those going, but they've got old pumps. Nevertheless, little LED signs on there and all that. Right. And um, uh, I, I paid my money. I thought, oh, God, this is all you've got. I wish I'd I, f I wish I'd filled up the car now. I felt guilty. And as he put the card in and looked at me and we were having a chat and he said, uh, you're from London, aren't you? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, I can tell because we started into a conversation that. And I thought to myself, I bet he knows the only reason I've come in here and put 10 quid in is to get me to the Asda tomorrow to get the cheap petrol. I bet he knows that. <laughs> and I left there and I started looking at the sweets. Now, I don't buy sweets. I don't buy sweets. I started looking at the sweets for the only reason of putting a bit of profit into his pocket. And I thought, if I buy those, the trouble is if I have sweets in the house, that's it, mate. They're gone. They're gone. I was over at my sister's house yesterday for a lunch, right? And uh, there it was, the tub of celebrations. Celebrate, or whatever they were, Quality Street. I don't know what they were. And that was it. The tub, the lid was off. There I start scoffing the blooming chocolates. I can't have that sort of thing in the house. So I thought, oh, I better not buy these sweets. Anyway, I left there feeling as guilty as hell for not filling up my tank of petrol. <laughs> Madness, isn't it? Well, we're going to do a little bit of a phone-in show tonight, boys and girls. I've got my line uh, standing by there ready. Let's just say hello to some of you this evening. Uh, Jason Hughes. Good evening, Jason. Top of the list there. We've got uh, Joey, uh, Fran Green. Evening, Fran. Uh, evening, Roy Brownlow. Mark Bowles. Evening, Mark. You should have got your raffle ticket there. Uh, Gareth Price. Luke Trott. Shania in the house. Morning. Um, Mick Davenport, there's Brenda from Bristol. Thank you. Got your uh, email about your pink pen earlier. Evening to Ray Reynolds. Evening, Rachel. Hello to you. Gary Butler in the house. Kate Doody. Gosh, we're all there today, aren't we? Gosh, uh, Heidi Oliver. Good evening to you. Mick Davenport, I've mentioned. Uh, I try not to miss anyone out. There's Rachel. I did certainly. We had fish and chips today. We went to Skegness. And I had, uh, I had uh, baked beans and chips in the trawler's catch. Highly recommended if you ever go to Skegness. Uh, drive your car right down to the end. You'll see around about a clock, which leans slightly to the left, or at least it looks like it does, on the roundabout. Park your car somewhere. Go over the roundabout. Park your car on the right there. Uh, walk back to the roundabout. Cross over the road. And it's just, it's not actually on the corner. That's the one. You've got to go up steps. Highly recommended. Trawler's Catch, massive portions and not expensive. He does a, a good job there, OK? Um, have I said hello to everyone this evening? We didn't get recognised. I'm afraid. Well, I think we did. I probably got recognised, Gary. But see, people are too shy to say anything. That's what it is. You know? I mean, how many times have you... You must have been out at some point and seen someone you recognised. Yeah? Did you go up to them and say, excuse me, excuse me, are you Jerry Essex? Oh, no, hang on a minute. It's like your brother, isn't it? <laughs> Jerry Essex. What's happened to him? He's disappeared, hasn't he? Um, hello to... Uh, let's have a look. Anthony Warnby. Good morning to you. Oh, good evening to you, sir. Uh, just scrolling down here. Uh, Mandy, have you got an Amazon Echo, Mandy? Is that, is that your first one, darling? Is that your first one? <laughs> Gareth, you're very naughty, my darling. <laughs> very naughty. And uh, uh, turn it off. Uh, hang on, Mick, I can help you out there. Can you turn my volume up a minute? Just turn my volume up a minute. Just Mick. Have you done it yet? I'll give you a second or two. Turn your volume up. You ready? You ready? Alexa, stop. There you go. That shut it up, isn't it? I mean, turn in about we we have this problem with uh, great nephew uh, Harry and great niece Evie, 
who keep every time I go around there, they're like in competition to see what their Amazon. They've got the big one, you know, the, I don't know, the long tube thing uh, to see which which of them can get it to play the most music. It's most annoying while you're sitting there trying to watch the blooming telly. Good evening to uh, Adrian Richardson. Hello to Amelia Dodd. Um, uh, where are where else are we? And Julian Clark. Hello to Julian, who switched to YouTube at last. Thank you. Once again, anyone watching on Facebook Live, this is where you leave us, boys and girls. Uh, you have to switch over to YouTube to watch the whole show. Please go over to youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. Uh, I can just... Uh, for you there like that. Look at all this I can do now. YouTube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. If you join us all on there, you'll find a big chat box. Once you've uh, once you've clicked on, you can join in the chat there or just watch. Please hit subscribe and uh, notifications all set to on and there you'll be able to join in with the whole show. OK, so we'll see you over there. Righty ho, we're all together then. So we want to do a little bit of a phone in today, gang. I've got some little bits and pieces for you to think about before you call in, you know. Um, when I was doing some radio, uh, which was a long time ago now, uh, 1999, 2000, I picked up a few tips about people uh, uh, how to do sort of a better phone-in show. Rather than say, if there's anything you want to talk about, call in now. Or oh, have you got a little bit of buffering going on there? Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Is that all right? There you go. Hang on a minute. There we are. Is that OK? Are we with us? Has that stopped? I can see a little error come up on my thing there. Although we didn't get cut off, did we? Got some dropped frames there. Has that stopped? That should have stopped the buffering now, I think. I hope the buffering has stopped. We'll just wait a minute for that to see if we can catch up there. 2167. Uh, OK. 27.4. We'll just wait a moment or two to see if that sorts itself out. Hello to Matt Anxiety, R-A-P. There we go. Are we OK now? Yes, it was me. It's my problem this end. I can see a little problem that, that happened, but we haven't been cut off. It's not like we lost the uh, signal or anything. OK, we'll carry on then. Hello to James Brennan. Hello, James. All right. There we go. Gadgets and Games. Hello to you. There we go. All right. Shut up, Gary. 826. Let me just make a note of that. 826. We've got some dropped frames on there, which means it was buffering. I can see that. Okay. Righty ho. Fingers crossed then. Okay, doke. We'll try and carry on then, boys and girls. Uh, if that keeps happening, then we'll just have to abandon it. You know how it is sometimes with the uh, 4G internet sometimes. Although we've we've uh, we've done quite well over the last four, few weeks, haven't we, with the uh, uh, with the 4G internet. Anyway, here we, that's what I get from messing around with Mandy's Echo Dot. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, darling. Yes, um, I did some radio years ago. All right, James. I did some radio years ago, uh, 1999, 2000, 20 years ago now. And there was a couple of chat shows on this particular uh, station. And uh, I was talking to, I think it was, it was either Toby Anstis or David Hamilton was on there with me. And we we're talking about shows and that. And they said, if you're going to do a chat show, what you've got to do is give someone some subjects to ring in. Because there's no point in picking up the phone and saying, oh, hello, it's uh, Fred Bloggs here. OK, what have you got to say? Oh, nothing really. It's just that I wanted to say hello. That's not really an interesting call. OK, and sometimes people are thinking, well, I'd like to call in, but I don't know what to talk about. You know, so here's some things to think about you, uh, to, for you to think about perhaps calling in this evening, and then I'll open the lines as soon as I get down the four list. There's four things here I've written down. Number one, New Year's resolutions. You don't have to have a New Year's resolution. I haven't really got one. I have had in the past, you know, the old things, lose a bit of weight, stop going out so much, that sort of thing. But generally, a New Year's resolution, or maybe um, what would you like to see happen for you this year? And you can be as selfish as you want. Just for you. Or what would you like to see happen in the world, perhaps? Anything you'd like to see happen in the world this year? Maybe you're a bit of a Greta Thundenberg or whatever her name is. And you'd like to see us all switch off the lights or indeed the Internet, as what happened earlier. 
Perhaps you'd like to see all the lights switched off or something like that. I don't know. What, what would you like to see happen this year? You can be selfish to yourself. You know, I want this for me. Or for everyone in general, perhaps for the world in general. And on a similar, on a similar uh, subject there, gadgets. What new gadgets would you see, like to see come out this year? I watch um, a bloke who does YouTube videos and he, he basically talks about equipment and what you can get and make things better. The camera I'm talking to you was a suggestion from him. He'd like to see, and I'd like to see, a DSLR camera, you know, the normal light cameras, okay, with a streaming socket. So you could plug it straight in and into your computer and it would work. No video cards, nothing like that. I'd like to see that come out. What about you? What sort of gadgets would you like to see come out this year? A suggestion for your phone call tonight. Or other technical advancements. You know, we'd all like to see uh, perhaps various body parts, wouldn't we? You know, to replace the ones that we've got that are wearing out. I take my knees, for example. Perhaps I could do with a new foot. If this takes much longer, which is rather annoying me now, it's much better than it was since I twisted my foot the other week. But uh, it's coming along slowly. You know, perhaps one day you, we will live to 500,000 years old, <laughs> going in, I don't know, the Walmart or the Asda. Oh, I'll have a new lung today and picking it up and taking it in. OK, can you put that in for me, please? <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to do that. Perhaps phones, you know, new new phones. What sort of new phone would you like? What 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 would you like on that new phone? Cars, electric cars becoming more and more mainstream. We need more places to charge them. Perhaps perhaps you'd like uh, more electric cars or, or different types of planes. What would you like on a plane? You know, wouldn't you like to go on a plane and have, I don't know why you're up there on board now, I'll just go for a swim or a shower. And the really posh ones do have showers. They have little cubicles, showers and things like that on them. Robots. We all know about the SEX robots that are coming out. What about other robots? What would you have a robot do for you other than SEX? What would you have a, a robot do for you? You could have it just... just come in if you're a little bit lonely perhaps you know you're sitting on your own like myself you know oh hello harry would you come in and talk to me please hello susie would you come in and talk to me please hello mark 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 can you come and uh, i'm bored now come and talk to me get your cluedo out it can play a game with you but it's like a robot so there's a couple of things there weight loss weight loss anyone want to lose a bit of weight this year there's a story in the Daily Mail right now. And it says doctors in Scotland are going to trial an 850 calorie porridge and lentil soup diet. This could be very good. Now, if you're, if you're overweight by either one pound or 10 stone and you're happy, that's fine. Fair enough. But when you're not, and I still consider myself a bit overweight, it's probably gone up a bit this week because I've been up here then you should do something about it. Have you got a weight loss story that worked for you? Slimming World worked very well for me until I came off it. Well, uh, there's a story in the mail today. It says a low calorie porridge and lentil soup diet will be trialled in Scotland in a bid to curb the nation's growing diabetes epidemic. And now I like porridge and I don't have to put sugar in it or syrup or anything else. I do like porridge. Experts believe this simple, cheap regime based on traditional Scottish staples, could be the key to losing weight and reversing the effects of type 2 diabetes. NHS figures published so that more than 300,000 people are now living with the condition in Scotland, the highest number on record. A total of 15,980 new patients were diagnosed in Scotland in 2018. Participants in the trial, we eat a bowl of porridge for breakfast, and it looks from the picture, which you can't see, they've got a bit of chopped up banana on there as well, followed by soup and bread for both lunch and dinner with fruit for snacks. Now, I think that could work for some of us. I think that might work for me, actually, if I wanted to go on that thing. I've got my own thing that I do. As you know, I follow the Slimming World thing again, which I've started doing. Um, not so much this week or last week with the New Year and the Christmas, but uh, come tomorrow, I'll be back on it again. 
It says to give variety, the lentil soup can be made plain or with tomatoes. Researchers have also devised a spicy soup with curry, powder and beans. Sounds absolutely delicious. The 850 calorie daily diet plan. So that's 850 calories a day. Yeah. Now, they tell you, I think ladies need about 2000 calories a day. Men, two and a half thousand. So that's way below that. So there's no reason if you stuck to it that you should lose weight on that. And your snacks, apples, bananas, oranges, you know, the sort of thing. Um, so that's an interesting one there. And I think that would work. Have you lost weight? And what did you do? What thing did you... Were you hungry? See, on the Slimming World thing that I've done, you were never really hungry. You just followed it. And uh, that's how it worked. So there we are. Uh, and one other thing, <clears throat> your job. What do you do? And are you fed up with it? Or if you're unemployed, what job would you like to do? I don't mean if you're unemployed, and I know some of you are. If you're unemployed, OK, uh, any job is not really the answer that I'm looking for for this Although, if you're unemployed and you've been searching and searching, you may now be at the point where you'll do anything and you still can't find anything. But if you could do any job you wanted, what would it be? And I ask that because there's, a, there's an advert, and it's not so much an advert, a story in the Daily Mirror today. Dominic Cummings has posted, the Prime Minister's most senior advisor is looking for wild cards and super talented weirdos. Now, you might be a super talented weirdo, are you? Are you a super talented weirdo? One of whom gets the honour of giving up their evenings, weekends and love life to perform uninteresting tasks as his personal assistant. Boris Johnson's top aide Dominic Cummings has posted a baffling job advert on his website seeking weirdos to work at number 10. Literally weirdos, he said. He also asks specifically for super talented weirdos. <laughs> so perhaps you're a weirdo. Are you a weirdo? I think I'm a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> you might want to apply for the job at number 10. Or if not, what job do you really, really want to do? OK, right, gang. Well, uh, open the phone line. Uh, where are we now? Let's uh, just get rid of the YouTube thing. There's your phone number. There it is. There it is. There you go. Or you can Skype in as well. If you've got either of those two, you can either phone in or Skype. The phone in number is 020 3477 We're not buffering at all now, so that's great. 020 3477 is the phone in number. Or you can Skype in. The Skype username is... All one word, United Kingdom Talk. So whatever you want to do, my darlings. 020 3477 or Skype in on United Kingdom Talk. There's only one line. If I'm talking to someone on the line, I can't answer another call, OK, to say, oh, uh, can you hold on? You know, that's fine if, if you can hold on or not. Yeah, I can't do that, OK? It will literally just ring. So if there's someone on the line, you, you won't be able to call in while I'm still taking that call. Uh, uh, but but when the when the line is empty like it is now, there's your chance to call in. You may not want to call in. You may just want to sit there and watch and hear me chat rubbish as I usually do. That's fine as well. But I've I've got it set up on a different circuit as well, so I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work. But feel free to call in now. Um, apart from those subjects, if there's something else you want to ring in, then feel free. O two o eight one double four three four double seven. 0281443477 or you can Skype in on United Kingdom Talk. OK, um, let's have a look. Rachel wants to know, what does SEX stand for, uh, Chris? Oh, lots of things, my darling. Lots of things. And I'm sure you've done most of them by the look of your little outfits. <laughs> have you got special outfits, Rachel? <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, scroll down there. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, get Jason to call in. He's always got something to say. Well, anyone can call in. It's entirely up to you. Julian lost three stone in under three months. Chemotherapy not recommended. Yes, uh, I know about your uh, your thing. There's probably quite a few of you who had sort of various treatments like that, haven't you? 
not an easy thing to go through at all, chemotherapy. A hello to optimistically cynical. Um, let's have a look. Uh, my buddy has a child with cerebral palsy. Yes, sir, I had a very good friend with cerebral palsy. Her name was Millie. Millie from Minnesota. I haven't spoken to her for some time now. Um, and she was a wonderful lady, actually. She's still around, uh, which sucks because the kid doesn't go out much. He's got a huge imagination and loves dinosaurs. Every time I go out, he's imitating a T-Rex. Well, I hope he doesn't eat you, darling. <laughs> there was, oh, there was a, where did I see the dinosaur this week? There was a dinosaur on the television. I can't remember what it was now. Um, oh, there was a dinosaur on some program on the telly this week. Can't remember who it was. Can't remember who that was. Uh, Roy Brownlow, Jason wants to be a male escort. What, at his age? I can't see that happening, actually. Very, very old. Kate Doody. Hello, Kate. I was nearly 26 stone nine years ago. Uh, I'm now 13 stone. Fantastic, Kate. Well done, darling. And so much happier. Walking and sensible eating is how I did it. Mm. One of the things they tell us uh, at Slimming World is that exercise is actually fairly irrelevant in uh, losing weight. It is the food that you eat. The food that you eat and how you cook it. And uh, I stuck to the plan and I lost two stone in about six months, which isn't bad. The last time I weighed myself was Monday and I think I was 13 stone five. I'd like to be 12 stone. I'd like to be 12 stone. So that's why I wanted to get back on it. And uh, sometimes it just, just goes up a little bit like that, you know. Um, <clears throat> hello to Tay. Good evening to Tay. A very good evening to Tay. Now, Tay sent in a little email uh, to uh, the show earlier on because of course this morning we were talking about cats hee pussy pussy we were talking about cats early and uh, Tanya writes hello Chris you were talking about cats this morning and I had to share this with you I used to have a Bengal mixed cat that every night for a week would find my glass coffee pot and she'd get it out of my hiding places and push it onto the floor I replaced it and it was only cheap, but after week one, after a week, I was done. Oh, that poor cat. A Bengal cat, how beautiful. They're bi are they big? But I wouldn't like to row with a Bengal cat. You know, it's bad enough when you've got a normal cat. And they go a little bit mad sometimes, don't they? <laughs> right, we've got a call coming in. Let's see who it is. It's, uh, it's Mr. Roy Brownlow. Good evening, Roy. Let's just turn you up there. Hello, Roy. Hello. I was most offended, Chris. What are you most offended by? Well, I've ran three times and it, it, it just kept going through to an answer phone. Did it really? Well, that's strange. It's open now. Well, it's working now, Roy. I have to be the four, the first I, person in, the I, four. I did, I did notice, Roy, that no one was calling in. I thought, oh, no one's going to call in. But to be honest, that wouldn't be a problem for me. I can still chat. <laughs> oh, no. Now, now I've been the forerunner. They'll all want to be famous like me. <clears throat> In, you see. You're the, you're the forerunner. Do you know what? I might even give you a prize of a white Super Chat pen on Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's so good of you. Could be the one that I didn't get before. <laughs> Chris, uh, just to put you correct on a few things, yes. as I like to do, there is already a camera, one by Google and one by Samsung, where you can connect to the internet. It's got apps on it. It's got an Android system on it. Can, can you use that as a streaming camera? Uh, I believe you can, yeah. You connect to your phone via Wi-Fi or your house connection, obviously. Uh, ah, no, but could you, uh, could you connect it into the computer and use it to stream shows with everything else I do? I don't think you can. If it's yeah, well, Wi-Fi, I can't see that working. Yes, you could, because obviously you could put any camera into your computer and stream as an... Mm. I I, I'm I'm suspicious of that. Uh, you may have seen it written down somewhere, but this bloke that I watch, he's like at the top of his game and he knows what he's talking about. And it's one thing, he, he, what he wants is, a ca you said Wi-Fi, <laughs> what he wants is a camera to come out with a socket on it. So you literally plug your lead in there, plug the other lead in the US, USB, just you know, like a webcam. Any cam. DSL camera. Eh? Any DSL camera. Do them. I make streams a show uh, uh, live. Yeah, but... I you... use the XL camera into his laptop and streams live using the DSL. Yeah, but you've got to have a, a an extra video card or a plug-in USB no, thing, no, haven't you? No, it's a, lead. It's a uh, mini USB on one end, 
I believe, or or HDMI, and a, a lead that goes into your laptop. Right, and he he uses that to stream, does he? He streams his podcast. He goes live. Using okay. That, just exactly Do you know the, the name of the camera? Well, any DSL, exactly the same way that you, you would use a webcam. Really? Yes. Hmm. Uh, and all you do, you go into your DSL camera settings uh, and you set it to Wi-Fi, I believe. Right. Okay. Okay. But, okay. My friend. Right. Got a, he cost him about 300 something pounds. He's got a, oh. uh, I think it's Samsung. 300 uh, pounds, dear. I haven't got 300 pounds to spend, my love. And it's got apps on it, and he goes on the apps. He goes on you uh, Facebook app on it, yes, and he goes live when we're out walking. Wow! But can he do the other little bits and pieces, like put up captions and run films and things like that? I wonder. No, I think he just streams a live video. Yeah, you see, that's that's a different thing. It's a bit like having a you can have just an iPhone in front of you, really, and do a show like that. But you wouldn't True. be able to have any sort of captions or anything like that. I, I bought up, a you? little interesting thing for to go on my phone. Yes, which, which takes the C type right. setting, uh, and it's a camera on both sides, so it does the three hundred and sixty um, and uh, virtual reality and all that onto right. your phone using the app. I've I tell you what I've seen on iPhones: people doing three D photos. Have you seen those? Yeah, I've, I don't use iPhones. How do you? Not... Oh, you don't. I don't know how that works because I keep looking at my phone. Maybe it's because uh, this is only an, an iPhone eight, according to some youngster that was speaking to a couple of weeks ago. I say youngster, you know, about twenty eight. He looks at the phone and he said, "Oh, don't you think you should upgrade your phone? What a blooming cheek!" Yeah. Oh, I still the the moaning gits are on in the chat room again. Look, eh? The moaning gits are on Ian Day and they're moaning. Oh, don't worry. No, I'm talking to you. I'm not bothered about messages while I'm talking to someone on the phone. We can't. That's the thing with this show. Like, I don't want to concentrate too much on messages because you just don't have a show then. If you're just sitting there oh. reading out messages, you, you don't have a show. I try to look well, down yeah. and pick out the... Uh, I get fed up of being ignored in the in the message box, so... Eh? I just get fed up of you ignoring me in the message box. Well, you don't usually have anything interesting to say, Roy, only when you call in. That's why. <laughs> uh, and the, and the, what was the other thing I was going to say? <laughs> oh, I watch a show. Uh, I can't remember. I watch a guy on YouTube, and he, he reviews all the latest gadgets that have just come out. Right. Because yeah, I'm a gadget person. I've, what's your latest gadget? Do you get anything for Christmas, gadget-wise? Uh no no oh. I, I bought the thing for, I bought that thing from a camera yes uh, I bought the kids an Echo each which are brilliant well they they're good but they're annoying because it means now that they they use the drop in which is like I told you it's like a oh two no you can, you you got to turn that off no oh, you, that's every, dangerous every that's time, yeah. That's dangerous my sister actually she came to the caravan uh to put up Christmas decorations and I knew she was here and I dropped in. And it, all it does is, I think it just pings, doesn't it? It goes beep, something like that, Ping. and then you're it in. Goes... And my, all I could hear was my sister saying to my uh, to great niece Evie, "What was that? I just heard a noise." Then and I said, "Hello, Sharon." Well, she jumped out of her skin, didn't she? <laughs> no, turn turn off that dropping facility. It's not worth the trouble that it could possibly cause. You could be talking about someone, and someone can be listening. Yeah, it's, <clears> and it's lazy because you may as well just call them. And, yeah. and then it, they actually hear it pinging and they have to answer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the stream's frozen. Yeah, well, there's a problem with that stream tonight. Uh, well, they can listen to it. Oh, well, oh, no, one, no one will be listening to me then. No, OK. I think we're going to have to abandon this tonight. This is not working too well Pardon this evening. Skype. Let's abandon the Skype. It might be overpowering it. Never mind. OK, see you later. Uh, there we are. Well, that's not work. We're, we're not working too well this evening. We're still having a little bit of a problem with the uh, uh, the uh, the stream today. So I think I think we're just abandoning this this evening because this is not going to work too well this evening. All right, boys and girls. So ever so sorry about that. It's just one of those things. Usually we've done very well with the streaming. Uh, it's holding up again now, but um, I'd hate that to just keep happening. That's twice now. Do you want to give it? Well, should we give it one more go? So we'll give it one more go. Roy's uh, left us there because he could see we were having a problem there. But, um, you know, otherwise it's just annoying. Buffering and slow motion. Uh, yes, I think we'll leave that there. Never mind. Uh, it was worth a go, wasn't it? OK, next show will be for you 
on uh, Saturday morning, okay? Saturday morning, somewhere between 9 and 10 o'clock. We've got a nice cable coming in there and no no 4G to worry about or anything like that. But, uh, oh, let's just take this call. Who's that on the line? Let's try this. Who's that on the line there? Hello? Hi, Chris. It's Sauce. How are you? Who's that? Dr. Gregorian. Ah, oh, Mr. Gregorian. Good evening to you, sir. Yeah, I was, I was just Good about evening. to How go you? then because um, yeah, it wasn't working oh. too well. Uh, well, you, you, yeah. I'll, I'll have love you call first before we disappear, and that's that's fine. But we can't have that keep buffering every five minutes. That just drives people yeah, mad, no, including no. me. I don't you know, know what's happening. How are you? I think it's, um, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Okay. Speaking from London this evening. Yes, all well here. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay, dokie. So yeah, I'll be catching you up on um, on um, on catch up then. Yeah. Are you are you ringing up a, 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 or for for anything in particular? Oh, no, just, just saying hi and bye. Right, OK. Bye-bye now. Bye, take care. Mr SOS Gregorian calling in there. Um, I don't know if we should carry on or what, really. Oh, what do you want to do? What should we do? My internet's too powerful, says Roy Brownlow. <laughs> we'll try, we'll try. Let's carry on for a little bit. Hello to Heidi, calling from London. Evening, hey. Heidi. <laughs> Hello, darling. darling. Heidi. How are you? Hello. Hello, darling. Speak up, my love. Speak up a little bit louder. Hello. Hello. There you go, Heidi. You, now, you moved recently, didn't you? Yeah, I moved to Halston. To where? Halston. Halston. Now, where's that? Is that North London? Yeah, it's near Wembley. Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah. Is it better so, there uh, for you? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's kind of better. I live on my own. Um, I live in a shared house. Are you on your own? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. I didn't know that. No, oh, but no, that's okay. Oh, when, like, when did that like happen then, love? Uh, October. Okay. You've not got your children either? No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Heidi. No, that's okay. Um, Nicholas has gone off to his brother in Ireland. Yes. And Liam's elsewhere. Right. So, I'll tell you about that privately. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll Are you all right then, there, on your own? Is it all right? Yes. I'm, yes, mm. it's fine. Is it the first... Uh, have you lived on your own before? No, never lived on my own before in my life. I thought I'd hate it, but I don't. I absolutely love it. Right. Uh, are you Are you in... Yeah. Is it like a flat or a room or a... What is it? It's a room in a shared house. Room in a... How many of you in the house? There's six of us in the house. Six. Are they all, like, single people or a mixture or, or what? No, they're all um, single. Right, OK. Um, the, the, the lady downstairs, she's got um, she's got a husband in the Philippines. Right. And uh, the rest of them, are, they're all right to get on with. Not bad. I speak to them every now and again. Uh, do, do you get on with everyone there, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> That's yeah. good. Well, you, you know me, Chris. I get on with anyone. Oh, I know that. I know that. Yeah. Do you, what What about um, <coughs> cooking and all that? Do you uh, have your own facilities or um, do you have to share there? Yeah. Did Did you see the picture of the kitchen I sent you on Facebook? Yes, I did. Yeah, it, look, it looked rather sparkling, I have to say. But you're, you're the yeah. only one cleaning it, are you? Yeah, mm. I am. Does it I'm get in a bit of a state? Oh, God. I'm the only one that cleans it. I went away, as you know, to Cardiff right. for four days. Yeah. I cleaned the floor before I, cleaned the floor before I went. Yeah. Come back up after four days, and it was it was in a right mess. Right. Stuff all over the floor, and oh, God, it's horrible. So what, do you do it? Do you, you've taken it upon yourself to do it every day, have you? Well, not every day. Every couple of days, yeah. I mean, do people actually wash up after them, or do you find a, you know, a sink full of stuff waiting to be done? Oh no, no, I don't do their washing up. No, right. they they do that themselves. I I just do my own washing up. I don't do anyone else's washing up. So what what Get is that. the bit? But I I what is the bit they don't clean the 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 worktops and the floor? I suppose is it? Yeah, the kitchen floor. Yeah. Because as you can see, it's quite big. So uh, I have to clean all that. 
Well, yes. I don't have to do it, but I, I can't stand mess. I yeah. don't like dirt. I'm a I very mean, I'm, clean I'm, person. I must say, I, I'm not the clean kitchen every five minutes type person. My mum was forever cleaning kitchens and oovering and all that sort of thing. Um, I kind of do it and I, I'll, I'll go in one day maybe and think to myself, oh, God, this needs doing, and then I'll do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ra rather than sort of, I mean, you, you should, I think you should do probably wipe those work surfaces down with a, with a spray probably every day, maybe twice a day, or at least, you know, every time you've had a meal. Uh, yeah, you, and it's so easy to get things dirty. You, you've got a saucepan of baked beans on and suddenly one spits out at you, doesn't it? I've probably got the cooker up too high, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> So have you yeah, got a, you've yeah. got a television, have you? I've got a television. You're on my television right now. Right, okay. That was buffering. We had a little bit of a buffering problem a couple of times. Uh, it seems to be yeah, holding up again now, though. Yeah. Gosh. I think that's because I'm ringing, ringing in on the phone. I'm not the Skype. I'm not sure. Have Have you asked people about um, talk to people about the general clearing up and that sort of thing, or do you just do it? Oh no! I put notices up. Do I'm you? Put notices up everywhere now. What stick, st sticky, dump, sticky labels? I'm for, no, I'm handwritten notices. I've st stuck them up everywhere because right. I'm sick of doing it. Yeah. I'm fed yeah. up. You yeah. know, yeah. it's not it's not me that only lives here. Do you mm. know what I mean? Other people live here as well. Yes. Is, is your is so, your room is your room very big? Um. It, uh, it's big enough for me to handle. Right. Let's put it that way. You know, I didn't want... There is a room in there that, that's a really big room, mm. and I didn't want that one because it would have been too big for me. This is just the right size for me to keep clean, you know? Yes. <coughs> and I've got my own shower. You've got your own shower well. and toilet, have you? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I showed you pictures, didn't I? Yes. Yes, I, uh, I mean... Yes, I did. That's one other thing in being in a shared house. If you have to share the toilet and the shower, it's not, not ideal. When we were, when I was first married, um, when I was twenty-one, we moved into this house in Earlsfield, and we were at oh, the yeah, top. And it was Earlsfield. quite a big room and it was bed and a few cooking, but we had to share the bathroom and the um, uh, the shower. Which, I, do you know, I can't oh. even remember what that was like. I don't. I must have had a shower there, but I just don't remember ever having one. I must have had a shower in there, mustn't I? And we had to share all that, and it's not not the best thing to do to have to be sharing a bathroom, is it? Really, not at all. No, it isn't. No, because there are some dirty people, and I mean dirty people. Yeah. I can't stand dirty people. I really can't. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So. Did you have a good Christmas? Yes, it was fine. Uh, my Christmas was fine. What, tell us about what you did at Christmas. I've told deep my story so many times. That's the whole idea of doing a little bit of a phone-in just to find out more about people, you know, and what they do, rather than me, me ittering, uh, twittering away all the time about what I've been up to. What was your Christmas like? Uh, it was all right. I didn't go with you. Well, I went away for Christmas, but okay. I came back on the 23rd. Yes, you went to um, Cardiff, didn't you? Cardiff, yeah. Who's yeah. down there, Heidi? My um, ex-boyfriend, who right. who um, I lost in February, um, his dad. I go up there every so often, check on him, make sure he's all right, because he's old, you know. D and, uh, you lost a boyfriend in February? Yeah. What happened to him, or do you not want to say? He's um, gastrointestinal hemorrhage. Oh, and that finished him off, did it? Yeah, it's something blew up inside his stomach, I think. Right. So, and that was bad because, like, I'd known him since I was seventeen, Gosh. and hmm. I was that absolutely more seventeen, shocked. twenty-seven, thirty, thirty, thirty odd years, isn't it, Heidi? Yeah, I was absolutely mortified. Hmm. I still am. So yes, I can't believe he's gone. I miss him terribly and all that jazz. Yeah, of course you do. Have you um so, uh 
seen anyone else at all? It's February and uh, perhaps it's a little bit too soon, is it? Yeah, it is for me. I just want to... I just want to... I don't know what I want to do, really. Right. But I just want to... Um, I'm just taking it each day as it comes now. Yeah. You know, sometimes I feel like getting up and doing stuff. And other times I don't, so... Do you get depression? It's, I think so. Hmm. I actually think I've got a slight OCD as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm always cleaning I, know, I know a few people like that. That's why you're doing the cleaning, isn't it? Oh, I'm always cleaning the kitchen. I'm fastidious about it being clean. Hmm. And, like, every... Because it's a white floor, every black dot, I'm sort of, like, sweeping up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm not like that in a way. I'll be honest, since I had the kitchen done, the, the bathroom done here in the uh, caravan, the sink is a lot smaller, right? So when mm -hmm. you brush your teeth, after you've finished brushing your teeth, there tends to be a few little white, white, white marks on the floor where the toothpaste yeah. is somehow it's either come off the brush onto the floor or it's, yeah. it's come out of my mouth while I've been rinsing out. <laughs> well, I mean, that's been three days now and I'm thinking about cleaning some of it up now. <laughs> Whereas, you know, I know if that was you, Heidi, you'd be down on your hands and knees the moment you'd finished, um, uh, you'd finished doing the doing your teeth, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. it so in, in a way, I, I, I'm glad I don't have OCD. I'm really glad I don't have OCD. <laughs> I mean, but I know a few people who have had that. Yeah, a few people have had that. Yeah, sometimes it's good, but other times it, it gets on my nerves. Do you know what I mean? Because yes, I just I just wish that I could leave it, but I can't. Mm. It has to. I have to clean anything. It I keep, have to clean. Keeps you busy. So, I think. Um, one of the things sometimes with uh, depression is uh, that you need to keep busy. I found mm. that helps me a lot. Um, I suffered, as you know, I suffered from that for years, about 30 years. And uh, when I see someone, it, it was a great help. Basically, that person sat there and listened. I can't tell mm. you how she got me out of it, but she sat there and simply listened. This is about two or three years ago now. And that helped, oh, excuse me, dear, uh, that helped enormously. It really did. But one of the other things I've found is um, is keeping busy, you know. Mm. And your OCD will probably be helping, I would guess, with your depression, even though that you don't know it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, probably, most probably. Do you go out yeah. and see people at all, like friends or anyone? Um, well. Or do they come to you? Like well, no, I haven't really seen anyone since I've been here. But I don't mind that, actually. You're OK on your own? Yeah, because, like, when I used to live in those Court, I couldn't walk outside my door without bumping into someone. And it was nice, in a way. But then yeah. other days I just wanted to walk out the house and just be on my own. Right. And I couldn't do that there because I was constantly bumping into someone that I knew. Yes. But here, it's so nice. Yeah. I can just walk out my door and just walk anywhere. I'm not bumping to anyone that I know. It's so nice. I just like being on my own. So, I don't really see anyone, which is nice. Right. You, 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 you do don't... like that not seeing people, yeah? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I only see someone if I really want to see him now. Do you know what I mean? Right. I just like being by myself. And like just chilling basically. Oh, it's so nice. I'm in bed now actually. Have you kind of cut yourself off a little bit from people, do you think? Um no. No, I haven't cut myself off because like I know that they're there if I want to see him. Yes. You, you I mean you got if a phone have you got a phone, have you? Well, how do you think I'm talking to you? Oh, yeah, silly sod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you made me laugh today. Oh, my God. I'll quiz you too much. <laughs> <Think now. coughs> 
<coughs> we're all dying here, I can tell you. I can hear you coughing as bad as I am here. And the cough's not so bad now, I must admit. Um, oh, my God. Oh, Chris, you're too much. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's very... Can I read... Uh, there's a couple of messages here. Um... Uh, Rachel says, bless you. That's for you. There you go. Let's have a look. Um, I saw a, another little message here for someone. Joanne Smith. Hello, Joanne. Welcome to the show. She says, I would be lazy, Chris, and wipe up the toothpaste with the sock on my foot. <laughs> that That is the sort of thing I do, Heidi. You wouldn't consider doing that, would you? If you've got a sock on, your, God, sock on your foot and you just no. wipe... You, 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 <laughs> oh, no, you, no. You drop something on the no. floor and just wipe the bottom of your sock over it to tidy it up a little bit, no? <laughs> no. I take my up from the washing machine. <laughs> Hello to Gray Allen. Welcome to the show, Gray. Uh, Lee, B, Lee Toby says to you, Heidi, uh, good luck, Heidi. Uh, stay strong. That was nice. Rachel reckons I missed the bowl when I go and have a wee. <laughs> no, I don't actually. But I don't turn the light on. Do you turn the light on when you go in the bathroom, Heidi, and have a wee? Um, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. See, I, do. I don't turn the light. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't turn the light on. I think you know if if it's like you're on three o'clock in the morning, and you've got out of bed, and you kind of work. Walk anyway, hold it onto the wall to get to the bedroom. You see, I to the bathroom. I think if you turn that light on, it's going to wake you up, right? Yeah. Whereas if you leave the light off, have your wee, get back into the bed, it's not going to be so hard to get back off to sleep again. That's why I don't turn the light on. Well, you see, it's all right for us girls because we sit down. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit difficult for men. Do you know what I mean? Yes. That, Absolutely. I think, I think, but I think because you know. The layout of your bathroom. Yeah, I think it's programmed in your brain. Well, you so do, don't you? That, your, that yes. being said, you know sometimes, <laughs> how can I put this? Sometimes you can be standing at the toilet and you think it's pointing the right way, and for some reason it shoots out <laughs> in another direction. And I've never worked out why it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Do your aim, dear. You yeah. must have a good aim when, when the lights are off. You must be able to aim good. Oh, maybe. Uh, Glenda's there. Hello to Glenda. There's a lot of people uh, wishing you uh, wishing you well, Heidi. I have to say. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of Thanks, people on there wishing you well and uh, uh, sorry for your for your loss. You can always scroll back on the messages. You know, once but some you know when you when you watch the show later on, it doesn't always immediately appear you know you've got to give it maybe 20 minutes half an hour and then you get all the messages you can have a look through those and um lots of people wishing you uh wishing you well there Heidi all right darling oh thanks guys yeah that brought a little tear to your glass eye has it my love <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm just looking oh, at all the messages on the on YouTube now, but I'll have to look back on them. Yeah, have a look later. Phone. Otherwise, trouble is if you look at messages while you're on a conversation, the conversation stops and you start reading yeah, the messages. True. That's why um, sometimes, like when I start the show and uh, I'm reading, I'm just reeling out what I've been doing and a couple of news stories before I come to the messages. Because if I just go straight to the messages, there's no show. There is no show, and you can you can spend an entire morning saying, "Oh, good morning to so and so, good morning," which I try and do within the show itself. But you could you could just spend the entire show just reading out "Good morning" to people, and then half an hour's passed and you haven't talked about anything. I mean, it's just a little bit pointless, really, doing that. That being said, other people do that on their shows, and it works for them. But uh, I like to do a little bit more. As I say, there's even more people there. Um, uh, Gareth says, "Um." Uh, how about perhaps uh, speaking to uh, a counsellor? Have you ever thought about that? Like I did. I yeah. spoke to a, uh, I suppose you could call him a psychiatrist. I didn't have to pay, you know, NHS job. Mind you, I had to wait six weeks to go and see him. She was a lovely lady. Absolutely lovely okay. lady she was. She was absolutely stunning, this woman I went to see. I heard this voice. I said, uh, uh, Chris Reardon. And I looked up. And uh, there's this beautiful, a beautiful lady standing there. I said, yes. So would you like to come through now? And I went, uh, I said, uh, 
Are you like the receptionist? No, no, I'm the uh, I'm the shrink. <laughs> she was from Bangladesh. She was absolutely stunning, this woman. You might get a really nice bloke, Heidi. <laughs> Is it something that you would think about? Who's the one that's asking for tickets, for battle tickets? Oh, don't just ignore tickets that. That's OK. Been... You just carry on. No, they do that to just try and wind you up all the time. Don't take any notice of that, darling. Tickets I don't, so don't let it bother you. Yet, it doesn't bother yeah. me. Eh? Tickets are not being given out yet. Anyway, going back to what you were saying, um, yes, I've, I've actually looked into it, but I haven't actually done this, done anything about it yet, but I will. Yes, okay. I think it's, I think it's a case of uh, going to the doctor and um, uh, asking asking to be referred. Yeah, I have spoken to my doctor about it actually, mm. but I'm just it's just getting the gum to go and sort it. Did you just snort at me, dumb phone? Uh, yeah, but hopefully they would have heard that because it was down your microphone <laughs> and not theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Hang on, let me try that out. Don't say anything about it. Oh. No, they can't hear that. Only you can hear that. I can't I can't work two <laughs> buttons at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me through a different microphone to everyone else because I need to, to boost the microphone to you, otherwise you just can't hear me. That's the reason for that. All right. Oh. Um Roy Brownlow says uh, you go to a counsellor first, then move on to therapist. Well, I don't know. I mean, I was just uh, in my hospital at my usual thing. And um, uh, as I say, it was about three years ago. And a doc <laughs> the doctor, you know, I've got a wonderful doctor in there I see twice a year. And um, he's doing all the bits and pieces. Da -da -da -da, and he said, um, so how are you? And I looked at him and he looked at me and I just burst into tears. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, and he said, "Whatever's the matter?" I said, "Oh, I don't know." And he's like, "You've got, <laughs> you've got depression." He said, "You've got depression." Do you want? First thing he said was, "Do you want some pills?" I said, "No, I don't want pills." He said, "Right, I'm going to arrange for you to see someone," and that was it, straight in. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, and I was with, I went for about six months to see this lady. She was wonderful, really. When I think about it, you know, a bit of, bit of an effort going from Bracknell to London. But there you go, it's worth doing. And I think uh, maybe it might be worth you doing as well. But do you feel uh, like now you're doing something now, yeah? So that depression's yeah. left you for now, hasn't it? For now, it's left you. Do you see what I mean while you're talking to someone? I bet probably when you're in the kitchen, it seems a bit lighter as well. It's when you're sitting there doing nothing. That's when the problem occurs, isn't it? Well... The thing is, I can be I can be doing something, and then the next minute I'll I'll think of Mark, and I start crying. The grey cloud comes down. Yeah, I'll start. When yeah. I, when I think of him, that's when I start crying. I mean, I've got a picture of him next to my bed. Right. So he's looking at me when I'm sleeping. Oh yeah, why not? Why not? I've got pictures yeah. of my mum and dad all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. go down? Do you go down? Is is there a grave or was he cremated or what? No, he's cremated, but um, I've got um, I've got his nipper ring on on the chain on my neck. Is what? He used to wear a nipple ring. A nipple? Oh, okay. Thing through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He used to have a nipple ring. I said, yeah. I've got that on the chain. I've got ah, that on the yes. chain on my neck. Yeah. 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 So. So that's that. That's that. That's I, what you've got of his. I get that. Yeah. 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 I used to play with it, and it used to put me to sleep in a weird, in a weird way. Mm, mm. So now I've got it on on my on my on the chain on my neck. I can play with it, and it'll put me to yeah. sleep. Couple of messages. I of, oh, sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. Carry on again. Go on. Uh, couple Go of on. messages here. Joanne says all pills is do is cover up the problem. I think you're absolutely right, jo Joanne. Um, I don't think you should go down the pill route at all. You just need to go and talk to someone. Someone who will listen. You know, there's so many people, you know, you start talking to them and then you start going on about their own blooming agenda and they don't listen to you anymore. You know, I've, yeah. come, across, I've come across people like that all the time. Um, thank you very much for your kind ref, uh, message there, Tay. I could see there. Uh, Glenda. Message from Glenda for you, Heidi. 
read the book okay. or the power. Sorry, are you calling me? No. no okay. Heidi, read the book called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Right. So that's a, a possible book for you to read. Might might help you there. Uh, Chris Davis writes in, I'm struggling with mental health is illness. I was sectioned last year for two weeks on a section two because I tried to end my life. You're not that far down the line, are you? Is that something no, you could do? No, 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 no. Far away from that, though. No, I don't no. think that's something I could do. I mean, people all often say uh, that's the easy way out. <laughs> How is killing yourself easy? <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that is the easy way. I, I, you know, how anyone can do that, I, I, I just don't know. Um, no, uh, anyone else has said, uh, Amelia says, uh, it's easy for us girls to sit down in the bathroom <laughs> on the subject of going on a wee. Joanne, I sat down on the loo to wee last night and some idiot had put the lid down. <coughs> There's... Uh, there's a little bit of fun for you to do, Heidi, okay? Or anyone else. Go and get yourself some cling film and put it over the toilet. <laughs> and then listen to the screams coming out there. <laughs> well, since I'm the only one that uses my bathroom, it, it, it's kind of redundant, don't you think? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Why, why am I going to put cling film over my own toilet? Yeah. That doesn't work. No, you're right. <laughs> Not on your toilet, but on someone else's toilet. You know. Well, Heidi, I, I just wish you the best of luck with that. And I know you're there uh, most mornings joining in the show. OK, my darling? Oh, yeah. Oh, and um, can you see the screen? Have you still got the video playing? Oh, I'll tell you what. Hang on a minute. Stay there a minute. Just stay there a minute. Give me a second. You're there, aren't you, love? Okay. Yeah, well, there's a delay, but I can, I yes, can there, see there, you. Yes, there will be a bit of delay. But uh, this morning, or this yeah. afternoon, we went down to Skegness, as you well know. And, yeah, uh, that's right. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, well, yes, I did. Yeah, it was nice. It was a bit cold. Good. And uh, unfortunately, yeah. I got really tired again. At about three o'clock, I get really, really tired at about three o'clock because I usually have a sleep, you see. But nevertheless, it was a great time. Uh, the children had a good time, which is the main thing. Um, good. And after our fish and chips, we went walking along looking for a shop. Um, it's quite a, it's a... It's not a long walk. It's about a five-minute walk. We get down to the end of the road, and we went in the shop looking for something. And they didn't mm. have any in there. <clears throat> And we walked down a little bit further, went into another shop, didn't have any in there. And then across the road. And I found something in there that you'd asked me to get. And there is your Skegness key ring. OK, have you got the video on? It'll be about 10 seconds before you see that. This is the only one we could find. I was I was surprised that there were no Skegness key rings anywhere. But you asked this morning... Uh, for oh, me to get on. you one. Hang on a minute. Could... Hang on, you've just gone off. Wait a minute, you've just gone off to get it. Oh, hang I haven't on. gone off again, have I? Oh, hang on a minute. You've no. Just gone off to... no, I've got you've green lights on here. So it. on. It's probably your end this time. There you go. Hang on. You've just gone off to get it. Hang on. I've got to wait for you to come back. Oh, don't worry. Here we go. Get you, back again. You can here watch it go. back later. Yeah. These are the only. I thought there might be some sort of shell one or a design, but basically it's just a picture. In a, in a key ring, and it says Skegness, it's so bracing. And in fact, oh, I haven't got it here. It's, I used to have a picture. Well, I'm sure I had that here somewhere. One minute, where's that gone there? Oh, there it is, here it is, here it is. <clears throat> it's, it's, is it the similar? Yes, it's similar to this. It's similar to this, look, it's almost identical. In fact, the color on there is, I think the, the color on there has sort of faded a bit, but I've got you a Skegness key ring, all right? Oh, there you go. Thank you. So if you do me a favour, right, and email me, I'll stick the email back up there. And um, if you just email me, I'll put that in the post for you on Saturday, darling. All right. Oh, thanks, darling. All right, Aww. Heidi. You stay in touch, I'll darling. All right. Happy. I will do. Okay. You have a good night, my love. Oh, I can, I can see it. Oh, Chris, that's amazing. <laughs> I it's, love it. it's it's not all that, but it's the only one they had. The only one they had, I love and it. Uh, 
Yeah, if uh, I so, love it. So I'll I'll do that. And if you could uh, just post the one pound ninety nine back to me, what it cost me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it, Chris. That's lovely. Thank you. All right, Heidi. And I promise I didn't buy any fudge for myself while I was in there, honestly. Good. <laughs> all right, look after yourself, Heidi. Thanks for calling in, all Thanks, right? Thanks, Cheerio. Bye. Bye-bye, darling. There we are, Heidi calling in from... Um... Oh, that was unexpected. Uh, from, from, from Harlesden there. She's having a little bit of a rough time. And we do all go through rough times now and again, don't we? All right, well, we seem to be holding up there, OK? So we'll carry on for a, for a bit, boys and girls. Um, I was a bit concerned we were going to just keep losing the blooming stream, but there we are. Uh, hello to George Bond. Welcome to the show, George. Hello to um, Robert Lunn. Good evening, Robert. There's uh, Max Iety. Have I missed anyone out? Anyone's name I've missed out tonight? Um, the, then, then do let us know. Uh, Stace is there. That's uh, my... Uh, nephew's wife, she says, uh, talking doesn't help everyone. Uh, you're probably right there. Uh, some people it does. I think a lot of people it does, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not everyone. I don't know. Maybe not everyone. Thank you very much. Hello to AJP Garden Machines. Welcome to the show there. Did you buy me the rock I asked for? You didn't ask for a rock, did you, Mick? I don't remember you asking for a rock. <laughs> I don't remind you asking for a rock. Hello to Joseph McDonald. Welcome to the show, Joseph. Anyone else want to call in, you can do so. Uh, if you've got Skype and you're abroad you know, in another country other than London, you can call in on the Skype. My Skype username is United Kingdom Talk. All one word, United Kingdom Talk is up there in the corner of the screen. Or you can phone in 020 3477 We've got a call coming in there. Oh. And who's that, please? Who's on the phone? No, no one. OK, let's take another one there. And line two. Who's on line two? Hello to you. Hello. No, that's not worked either. OK, just people. Never mind. Uh, if you want to call in, you can do so. 0208 344 Just some of the things we were uh, uh, suggesting to talk. There it is again. So perhaps they come here. I don't know. Line two. Who's on line Hello. Hello, Chris. Hello. Who's that? Can you hear me? Hello? I don't think they can hear me on that number. Okay. Anyone else? 0208 344 Try it again, or if that uh, uh, that may or may not work. Hello to Joanne says she's a sweet lady. Oh, she is. I've known Heidi for years and years and years. Years and years and years. Right, let's try this once more. Lots of dingings going on there. Hello, right. who's that? That's, uh, uh, that may or may not work. No, nope. okay, let's try that one. 0835, there we go. Hello, can you hear me? How big are your tits? Uh, much bigger than your face, probably, Sunshine. There you go. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? 0208 There's a double six three there. Let's try that. 020 Anyone else? Right, we'll try this one once more and then we'll block it. Hello, who's that? George. George? Yeah. Hello, George. George Bond. Yeah. Hello, George. How are you tonight? Fine. You doing well? George, I think the problem yeah. is you've got the stream on at the same time as the Skype. You just have to take yeah. the stream off while you're talking to me, OK? Yeah. And you'll hear me through the through the phone. So turn the stream off. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll just keep yeah. feeding back on you, all right? Yeah. How's that, George? You can hear me all right now? Yeah. There you go. How are you today? Fine. Right, what are you calling in about? Um, I've got special needs. Okay. Yeah. And I've um I've got learning difficulties. Right. Yeah. And um, has that been always? Really how old How old are you, George? Twenty. Twenty. Oh, you're quite young, aren't you? Yeah. Whereabouts are you in the country? Northampton. Oh, you're not too far from me. Here in Lincolnshire at the moment, you're sort of slap bang in the middle, really, of Bracknell and uh, uh, Lincolnshire, aren't you? Yeah. 
So how have you been? Not too bad at all, George. Tell me about your day. I've been to archery. You've been where? Archery. Archery? Oh, really? That's fascinating. Yeah. What the, the um, like the um, cowboys and Indian and Indians, like the Indians had uh, in the old Western films with the archery things. Yeah. Is that quite difficult to do? No. Because do, do you need like a certain amount of strength to pull back that bit of string? I would imagine, wouldn't you? No. It's quite an easy thing to do, is it? But that's something you do regularly, yeah. is it? Yeah. Are you good at it? Do you manage to get in the yeah. little bit in the middle? Yeah. Wow. Is there competitions that you can do and that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, lots of competitions. Right. Do you ever win? Yeah. yeah. Right. What have you yeah. won before? What sort of prizes do you get? Um, medals. Medals, do you? Have you got many of those? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, a frame full of them. Right. Last lot of medals yeah. I got were in, uh, I've got swimming medals and things in the scouts, that sort of thing, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried swimming, but I couldn't get on with it. Oh, right, OK. Well, I mean, yeah. it worked. if it works for you, then do it. Yeah. Also, something else I've learned about is where I'm on the diet. Pardon? I'm on the diet as well. You're on a diet? Yes. How much weight have you yeah. got to lose then? Much? Uh, three, three pounds. Three pounds? Is that all you've got to lose or, yeah. or, or, or what you've lost so far, George? That's how much I have to lose. Right, OK. Yeah. Someone just said hi on the stream. Oh, say hello, hello back to them then. Yeah. Hi, who is it? It's all right, Hi. Yeah, who is it? Stay, Stacy. Someone called Stacy. Yeah, that'd be my uh, my nephew's wife. Yes. All right, George. Yeah. Well, you have a nice evening, yeah. darling, and thank you very much for calling in. Okay. Bye, bye, George. Are you going to do, do this all the time, sort of thing? Thursday nights. I'm hoping to do this on Thursday nights. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye, George. Bye. Cheerio Bye. now. There we are, George calling in there. Um, let's just uh, do that one, three, double one. There we are. Hello to you. Who's that? Cheerio Hello, Chris. Hello. Who's that? Let me just turn that down. Can you hear me all right? Hello, Chris. Hello there. I can hear you a perfectly. How are you? A very, very good evening to you. Who, who is that I'm speaking to now? I'll let you guess. Who do you think it is? No, I've no idea at all. Do tell us. Paul. Paul? Paul. Which Paul? Edwards, a.k.a. Watts. Paul, ah, hello to you, sir. Hello, Paul. Nice to hear you. Hi. Now, Paul you too. does a yeah. um a little video thing with your wife. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, on YouTube, yeah. It's called Our Days Out. We do do that. We have a lot of fun doing it. And what's your... um? Uh, your uh, what's it called? Your your program? Our days out. Our days out. That's the name of the channel, is it? That's it. Yeah. Excellent. Just a minute. Let me just write something down there, uh, so I know. I, I'll add people to the system as they call in. You see, and your um, one one. What's that now? Uh, I've uh, lovely, excellent. Three one one. There's my Paul, our mate Paul. There we go. Thank you, Paul. Anyway, what are you chatting in about? Oh, well, I just rang in to wish you a happy new year, to be honest with you. And a happy uh, new year to I've you, been, Paul. I've done, yeah, I've done a bit of chatting, and I notice as well there's still some idiots on the internet. I think oh, yeah, but that happens now and again. It, it doesn't, it, it, it's just an attention seeking thing that they like sometimes. You know, it's one of those things uh, with a, a radio station or someone like that, they filter all the calls, but they still get through sometimes and. Um, uh, do stuff, but if you just take that, take that with a pinch of salt and carry on, carry on like no, mummy's br brave little soldiers, Paul. <laughs> That's right. Nobody's nobody's going to deal with it better than you do, Chris. You've been around a long time. <laughs> is that yeah. is that is that supposed to be something good when you say that? Oh, you've been at it a long time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, you have really. I mean, as far as, yeah. far as uh, internet <laughs> broadcasting, you know, you've been doing it for. As long as anyone I know, anyway. 
Well, I remember. You actually got me into it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I, I I remember when I started, and I thought, I wonder if I'll be doing this ten years later. And this is, I think it's year sixteen. We started off as a audio. Sixteen audi- is a crikey. Yeah, we started off as a audio only, um, and then it it just carried on. You know. <laughs> It's not bad, is it? Well, really? I did. I mean, I started as audio only, as you know, and then uh, I, I just didn't get the time to keep doing it for yes. one reason or another. And then, um, you know, I was just checking in on Facebook and things like that, but I'm not a fan of Oh, sorry, Paul. Didn't cut you off then, did I? Hello? Oh, hang on. Just a minute, Paul. What have I done now? Oh, getting used to this system here. Uh... Hello, oh, dear. Well, oh, Paul, I've, done, I've I've destroyed your call. I think. Oh, what have I done? Uh, no. Oh, just a minute now. Oh, what did I do then? I uh, will muck around with buttons. What I was trying to do is add someone else to the uh, uh, to the system there. George Bond, so I knew when he was calling in. Uh, resume call. There you go. Are you there, Paul? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. I I'm so happened, sorry, I'm Paul. Sure. I, I I was trying to do something while you were talking to to, to add someone to this, <laughs> not to the call, but uh, I was just trying to put George Bond's name to his number. So I like to know, you know, it's quite nice when you can say, "Oh, hello, uh, Paul Watts is calling in." That's quite, I think it's quite a nice thing to do. That is, you know. Yeah, and are you up in Lincolnshire at the moment? I am at the moment. Yes. So we're all coming over on the four G at the moment. That's why sometimes yeah, we have a little bit of a buffering issues we again there's that's what you have to do uh sometimes yeah. you know just get on with it really yeah well you're not too far from us really i'm in northamptonshire not too far from your last caller actually you're yes in northampton our county town but um i'm about 17 miles from that um closer to, to where you are actually than uh, northampton are you oh. are you country are you country where you are like, yeah, just on the edge of the town. Yeah, like fields and all. Yes, yeah, so I love Catherine. it. I quite, yeah, quite like a bit of countryside. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I could ever live in a city, Paul. Have you ever lived in a city? No, and I wouldn't want to. I worked quite a lot out of London during the nineties and the noughties, and um, that was enough for me. I did take the family, as you'll notice from uh, one of our recent vlogs, our Christmas vlogmas. As we were down in London with the whole family, we had a great time a couple of weeks ago. But um, no, it just reminded me of I drove all the way in and it just reminded me that uh, yeah. London to me is a is a different place at night to during the day yes. it's, you know so different oh yes yeah it's not the same as it was it's just it's just too busy for me now of course I was brought up in London as you well know uh, Peckham and uh, yeah. Roehampton then uh, bought a flat in Wandsworth and I came out to Bracknell in 1992 I think it was it was the year that the uh, Windsor Castle was on fire. I think it was 1992. Yeah, that sounds about right. Somewhere around that date. And I moved out to Bracknell and I, and I thought, well, oh, oh, I, I could never live in London again. It's funny, actually, where, where the pub is that I work in, King's Cross, you know, you want a flat there for £500,000 for this little box. And I'm sure it's very nice <laughs> yeah. inside, but you come out the door and there's the cars and all the people and the pollution and the stench of fried food all over the place. Yeah. I'm afraid it's not for me at all. No, I, no, I, I, I could never not live for in me London either. Again. I, no. no, I'd rather the stench of cows and sheep and things like that, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you. Well, of course, I, I mean, I get yeah. that where I am here right now. Um, yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've seen pictures and some video of where you are and it's uh, very pleasant. Oh, it's it's lovely. The the thing is, the the whole idea of me getting the caravan here, it was to be like a stepping stone, if you see what I mean. Just just to try it out and see how I got on, and then maybe sell my house and kind of move up here. That was the idea. To a manor to a manor house or something like <laughs> that with your own farm. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you know, if I sold my house in, in in Bracknell, I could have something much better here. Because that's the difference yeah. between the south and the north. I wouldn't want or need a great big house. I'd probably actually go down from three bedrooms to two bedrooms anyway. So even then, that's that's going to be even cheaper. That was the whole yeah. idea. Yeah. But what I've found has happened is that both places have their different advantages. So, for example, where I am here in the caravan, 
uh, in the middle, basically, of nowhere. You know, there's one long road that you have to take to get to this, which is... And you're on that road from a main road for about 10 minutes. And it's very bumpy. You know, you can't go fast. And on the other side, again, there's a road which goes over a little bridge and along a river. It's beautiful. And again, it's not a road you can tear down, although some people do. You're very unwise to tear down this road. It's very narrow. OK, in front yeah. of me is an open field. It's very, very yeah. quiet. There's your advantages. And you, right. and you also have the luxury of uh, Skeg Vegas. Skegness, there's nothing wrong with Skegness. Yeah, Skegness yeah, is, is, uh, yeah. is great. So there's your advantages. Yeah. The disadvantages are that there's plenty of places to go for a walk, but you can't actually walk anywhere. The nearest shop no. by car is about 25 minutes away, maybe 20. Now, to yeah. walk that, you'd be looking at hour and a half, two hours. Easy, easy. OK, I can't walk to the swimming pool. That's half an hour's drive away. Again, you wouldn't be able to walk it and also probably too far to cycle as well. Half an hour in a car turns into an hour and a half on a bike. So if I wanted to go swimming by bike, hour and a half there, I reckon, an hour in the pool, hour and a half back. That's an awful lot of time gone out your day. <laughs> so you could go out and you could go out and have a game of golf. For I, think time, was, oh, was, I don't think there's a golf course near here. The nearest one, I think, is in Woodall Spa, which is lovely. Um and uh, I did think once about playing golf. I think I'd get bored very quickly playing golf. So there, there's your disadvantages. You can't actually walk anywhere. You can't walk to a shop or anything. No car, you couldn't stay here. End of, right? No. Now, no. Um, yeah. in Bracknell, uh, uh, the, and, and the advantage is, of course, all the families here. You know, small people, older people, and my sister and her husband. They're all up here, right? Down south, in my house, I can come out of my house. The co-op is five minutes walk away, as indeed is Audi. Uh, I can cycle into town and be in town in 20 minutes on my bicycle. Um, I can cycle to the church. That's about 25 minutes away, the one I go to. Or again, I could go to the one in Bracknell, which is 15 minutes uh, on a bike away. So I can walk every a swimming pool everywhere. I can walk there from my house in Bracknell. And um, also, I'm surrounded by pine trees. Now, here where I am here is very flat. There's a field in front of me which has got nothing at all in it at the moment other than churned up earth ready for the next lot of seeds to go in. Uh, again, here, there's a river at the top. There's no river near my house. But I'm surrounded by trees, and where the house is, it's fairly quiet. I have to come down a bit of a bit of a crappy road, really, to get to it. You know, cars parked up on pavements, that sort of thing. Not... Or not everyone is a particularly nice person on that road. Uh, if you go up the road, it can be a bit noisy. But where at my house is, and indeed the other three that are attached to it, because it's a terraced house, we all get on like a house on fire. We're all fairly quiet. And there's a different smell. You know, the two places mm. are very different smell-wise. I'm not saying one is better than the other. They're just different. So I've kind of got the best of both worlds. So the whole idea of having this as a stepping stone hasn't worked. It, it hasn't meant that I think, well, I'll sell me out and move up here. Now, I'm probably more confused than I was in the first place, Paul. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's difficult, um, really. Yeah. Um, disadvantages of being down south. Well, of course, I go to work. Um, the rest of the time, yeah. I'm very, very much on my own there. Very, very much hmm. on my own. Um, well, I in... know both areas where you, you are quite, excuse me, quite well, actually. I mean, around where you are in Bracknell and, uh, you know, all around that area is fairly wooded. I actually started my army career there in Aldershot, not too far oh, away from yes, where you yes, are. Oh, yes, yes, and, yes. And, and, yeah, I remember it's all, uh, you know, fairly wooded all around that area. Right. Yeah, it's a nice place to go up there. There's actually an army place where they do lots of practicing and all that, and there's, like, signs, you know, if you see anything on the floor, don't touch it, please call this number. You know, if you come across, I don't know, a bomb or something like that, which is a bit worrying. 
But uh, as I say, down there, <clears throat> I feel very much on my own. Whereas up here, you know, if I really got that badly lonely, I'd just pick up the phone and I could go around my sisters or my nephews. Uh, my niece at the moment is in Cyprus. So she's, she's just come up to her first year. They got three years there. And I don't think they want to come back, to be honest. They're having such a great time out there in uh, Cyprus, living on the uh, Acroteria Acri or whatever it's called, something like that, you know. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right, Chris. Well, I thought I would ring in just to wish you a uh, happy new year. It's been a while lovely since Paul. I spoke to you. Yeah, and really enjoy nice. enjoy your shows and <clears throat> the lovely backdrop you have there as well. Oh, it's thanks, very Paul. Festive, uh, this is the last time you'll see this one, actually. Uh, there's a couple of people yeah. who want this to be put in as a prize or something like that. Uh, to one of the yeah. shows, which I'll probably do. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, whether I'll bingo it or raffle it. Um, someone says, why don't you just super chat it? You know, you could super chat it. I don't know yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, yeah. So we'll we're, we're, we're see how that goes. Anyway, Paul, I hope you All get right. on the and, and your show goes from strength to strength. Okay, Chris, thank you very much for that. And as I said, lovely to speak to you again. And uh, I'll keep watching, and good luck in 2020, 2020 or the 20s, whatever, I don't know. The roaring 20s, <laughs> Paul. Whether or, not we can still 20s roar, yeah. whether or not we can still roar at our age, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, lovely to speak to you again. Cheerio, Paul. Bye-bye now. All right, bye-bye. There we bye. are, Paul. And, um, yes, I've known Paul for some time now. He, as I say, does his own little show there, which is, he started that office, I think, as an audio-only thing. And that was very good as well. Okay, anyone else want to call in 0208-144-377? Um, take another call here. Let's have a look. 951. Hello. Hello. 951. Oh, that's gone. Is that gone? Did we take that call there? Hang on a minute. I wish I could turn the sound off, actually. Oh, gosh. There we go. Yeah, this is my sister, I think. Hello. It's not working, is it? Hang on. Let's try that one. Hello, who's that? Hello, Chris, it's Roy. Uh, just pop in, can I, I hope you don't mind, I just wanted to pop in quickly. Oh, Roy Brown, uh, though. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah a little bit of advi adv advice. I, Chris, I don't know if you know, there's some things you don't know about me. I've suffered mental health all my life, and yes. had several breakdowns. So I went on to train in mental health. I'm fully qualified in all aspects of mental health. So I want to say to ID, be like I was when I had my last break breakdown. Don't isolate, associate. Find drop-in centres with people who are suffering the same sort of thing and do the courses and things like that. It will benefit you 100%. There you go. Thank you very much, Roy. I'm sure she heard that, my darling. Heidi that advice. Don't, don't isolate, associate with like-minded people. God bless you, Heidi. We all love you. Much appreciated, Roy. Thank you very much, all right? Bye-bye. Have a good evening. There you go. Uh, I don't know why I seem to have a little bit of a problem with some of these calls coming through. We can try it again. Uh, line open again, gang. Let's just uh, write that one down there. So I can put that in the system. Okay, try again. Try again, whoever that was calling in. 0208 144 Right, let's get that now. Uh, line open Hello. Hello. Hello, sister. Hello, it's not sister. Oh. Not unless you've got a very deep voice. It's Martin Butler from Retro Restore. Yes, yeah, so I've been looking at the chat section and I thought I'd take part. I thought I'd bring your uh, channel some uh, professional uh, viewing, basically. Well, it's very kind of you to be very professional about it. I think, in, in fact, I think you're one of my moderators. Am I correct in saying that, Martin Butler? <laughs> one of your moderators? I think I'm 50% of your moderators, dear. Did, did you enjoy your excessive, uh, excessively expensive meal this afternoon that I paid for once again? Well, I'm sure the uh, tax man will get his fair share as a celebrity lunch. I said, I, no, I don't. Do you know I don't do that? So many people have said that you can put you can put lunches through as so. And I, I'm like, oh well, they're not really they're not business lunches. Yeah, but you can put them through as a. I've never ever put a meal through, and I, I'm I'm too frightened that someone's someone would say so. Oh, uh, you've got this bloke on YouTube. He's been putting through meals. You might want to check his accounts and all that business. I know something like that would happen. There's no way I can do that. I can't do that. No, it's come out of my own pocket. It, what amazes me is when I say I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to pay for the dinner, and suddenly you get all these extras coming on, like gravy, you know, battered sausages, this, that, and the other. It's outrageous. Yeah, in Skegness they're called hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, please. You Sat can't there just go straight into the main mill. If you've ever fine dined before, you must start a. 
fish supper with a sausage in batter. You should know that. That is no, that is not correct. The battered sausage would be with chips as a meal, not as a starter. No, 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 not in my house, isn't. Anyway, we had a nice little afternoon, didn't we? Walking along, I got really cut. Did you get? Cu- of course, you didn't have a coat on. As, he, no, I'm a roughy toughy type. He had uh, a sleeveless coat on, and that blooming wind was cold, weren't it? Mind you, didn't stop me having an ice cream, did it? Well, you didn't have a flake in it, though, so uh, it's, it, you didn't have a 99 at all. You do like a 99. Um, actually, there were two in there. By the time I got to you, I'd had those. Anyway, <laughs> talking about cameras, um, yes. I think um, uh, Roy Brownlow was talking about the uh, DSLRs having a streaming thing. Hmm. Uh, we've had this chat many a times, and uh, I think you was correcting what you were saying. Although you can not necessarily stream... Uh, you could use a HDMI cable yeah. and watch a, 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 a streaming image on the TV, for example, if you use a HDMI cable. Yes. But streaming wirelessly, what you do, I think is slightly different, isn't it? You, you, you could uh, have drop frames and stuff like that, and you need that little card, that little uh, TV modulating card uh, or something you have to plug in. Cam Link, I think it's called. Cam Link. Yeah. That's right. Cam yeah. link. So that goes into the USB, and the other plug goes into there. Scott Scott has just sent a message saying you sound posh. Really? <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> I did. I did say to Martin if he's going to talk to me on the show, um, we want to. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you, you know, he has to posh up a bit. Yeah, we can't have common people calling it on the show. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I could know. rant now, but I'm not going to rant. No, well, feel free. You know, feel free. Uh, uh, I'm happy with people ranting if they mm. want to. You know, what have you got to rant about? Anything? Uh, the, the the travel trolls. The travel trolls? What are they? <laughs> yeah, well, in our calendar, the calendar sitting behind you there, as you know, took me a lot of money and time and effort to put that calendar together. And uh, what happened was, as you know, the uh, Hermes... Uh, Courier company lost two yeah, packets, they... one for mixed mowers. He's in the chat section now, I can see. Lost three packets, didn't they? And they lost uh, the chap on the front there, as you can probably see, who is Leon from Bodget and Leggett Garage. Yeah. He didn't get his garage. Uh, he didn't get his garage. He didn't get his uh, calendars. That, that's so the problem the front, came. Bodget... Yeah, the problem came. There was two batches of 15, <clears> which is 30 calendars. Now, the, the face value of them calendars, uh, calendars as you probably know, uh, we was knocking them out at £9.99 uh, is 15. That's, that's about £300 near enough. Wow. But I only insured it for £20 a package. And the problem comes when uh, you try to get either Interparcel or Hermes, because I went through the Interparcel website for uh, to, somewhat to attribute blame, because they, they let me know that they'd lost them. They declared them as lost. And oh. the problem with that is is that they say, well, we've got to talk to the person, Hermes, and then Hermes have to get back to him, and there's all that sort of infighting between the two as to whose fault it was, so the blame and no-one wants to pay you. <coughs> so 24, 24 hours wait was the letter I got on the 14th of December, I think it was, and here we are in January, two weeks afterwards, and I'm still waiting to hear back mm. from them. So I've had to email them today, and again, you can just wait. You don't get to talk to anybody. No one in the corporation will take responsibility. You'll get plenty of people say sorry, as you do get when you deal with big companies, but the individual uh, helping out for a, 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 a situation like I'm in, yeah. sorry doesn't cut it, unfortunately. And unfortunately, as you well know, having a return policy and dealing with one company, but when it's split across two companies, Terrible. like uh, Interparcel, and, yeah. uh, <clears throat> and that's where I'm at. This, so, this, this... The, then I got the travel trolls, well, well, as I was telling you, the travel trolls in that calendar, the six YouTubers who appear in there. Is what myself, date are they you, then? When are they? Mix Mowers, uh, Bodget and Leggett Garage, Roy's the boy, and obviously myself. And the travel trolls, as I said travel to you. Travel trolls, is it? Now, I, the whole point of me doing the calendar was to help fellow YouTubers uh, uh, and hopefully generate maybe some income. Mix Mowers actually generated income from for his... Uh, the son's uh, uh, charity, which is the Smith McGuinness syndrome, uh, mixed miles actually raffled off the calendars and earned quite a bit of money. Actually, done very what well. What was that, Smith McGuinness? That's the travel trolls there. Yeah, if you lift that page up, I'm showing you. Yeah, I people, just, I just saw to. that there. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. them, they, uh, when I was asked in YouTubers to take part, they showed an interest. <clears throat> 
that, or he showed an interest, there's two of them, a, a, a male and female. He said, yes, that'd be great, I'd love to take part. And I said, well, you'll get the calendars for free, and then you can sell them to your subscribers, and it'll be promoting small channels. Well, he never contacted me back after that, and I said, well, I need to get oh. the calendar out. So I emailed him one day, and he said, you told me, I said, can I have them this week, the pictures? He said, well, you told me two weeks' time. So I waited two weeks. He still didn't get back to me. Next thing I know is that he weren't replying to my messages. And then cut a long story short, calendars were ready to go. I, I created the calendars, issued them out to everybody who got them now, selling the calendars, and I asked him, uh, when can I send you your calendars or where can I send them to? Because they live out of a, a, a caravan, that sort of thing, you know? Didn't they live in a caravan? Him. Yeah, I didn't oh, hear back right. from him. And then he, uh, I left a message on one of his videos. <laughs> and his videos... <laughs> He's fit you, Sharon. Sharon's talking to me. And Tell her to <laughs> shut up, will you? Shut up, <laughs> sister. <laughs> and, oh, um, woman. Yeah, she's a funny woman. She's normally snoring at this time, Chris, actually. <laughs> and anyway, so I went to and leave a message on his, uh, one of his videos, because he puts out regular videos, and said, please look at your emails. I want to get the calendar out. And basically, he blocked me. He blocked me on his channel. Oh. <laughs> I then logged in onto another, well, with, with my retro hacks account, and left another message. Please answer your emails. I wanted to get the calendars out, and he blocked me again. It's it's and not then, it's not a channel. Just, just that... before Christmas, just before Christmas, the calendars were out. They was in the calendar, but I can't get in contact with him. Oh. So, yesterday I went online, and he's put another video out, and he said, in this video, uh, um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to answer all the comments in the comment section because I love everybody who comments on my videos. So I logged into my Butler's Empire account on YouTube, <clears throat> left a comment, well, I bet you don't reply to this one. I said, you're not a very nice person. I've tried to help you out and no doubt you'll block this one as well. Within 90 seconds, that message was removed and my Butler's Empire channel was blocked. And that goes uh, for helping people out. There you go. What do I do, Chris? What do I do, mate? Tell me, mate. You, 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 i tell you what you do. You draw a line under it and you move on. I've helped. Ah. I've I have helped people in the past, time and time again, and have been let down, or you know, not paid back, or people have said, "Yeah, I'll do this uh, if you do this," and then they let you down. There's, there's. It's best to just draw a line under it and move on. I, I don't will think, draw a line um, under it, and I draw a line with my super chat pen I got. <laughs> but you used, used the super chat pen that you won. That was yeah. delivered personally by me at, may I add, no extra cost to the winner. The channel is the Travel Trolls. Right. It's well, not the young lady. The young lady is fine. He appears to isolate himself that he only has all contact well, I, with I the, the channel See, I, contact. I don't know that channel really. I know the others. I know. I don't. I'll be honest. I, I'm not. I'm not familiar with Budget and Leggett. Um, of course, I know Roy the boy. Um, what else oh, that's a nice there? picture. There's Roy with his cup. Looking, oh, he's a lovely. Oh, that's looking a very magnificent. Job. I don't know if he's with us today, Roy the boy. Looking very magnificent there. Uh, that's yeah. the two people you're talking about. Who else? There's you. Yeah. Is that so I've sent. Up, I, and again, I know for a fact that I've sent people to his channel because I've seen people in the chat sections. Oh, God, so we've been driving. With, we've been driving some. people to him. That's the chat there. Oh, terrible. Yeah. And I've been blocked. So now I know what Roy Brownlow feels like because he's he, when he was blocked from uh, the moderation spanner. I understand. Oh, well. I, I, that's my, I, I personally think something like that. You just you just have to draw a line on it and think, OK, well, that's that sort of person and just move on and that's it. You have no contact with them again. I'm going to take your advice on that one because I think you're, you're very it, knowledgeable. It can, be, it, it can be very easy to... Um, to try and get uh, revenge, you know. Right, what can I do to that person to get my own back? But sometimes oh. that can scroll, that can just go out of control. Then sometimes, and uh, I'm going to be I the really bigger think, person, Chris. You know, and I'm going to let it go. Yes, I think when you when you've had enough, then you you literally just have to cut yourself off, and then that's it. Yeah, really, I I really do believe that. Really yeah. do believe that. Thanks for that. Will I need counselling at all? Well, I mean, I can put you in contact with a couple of people, actually. There's a delightful lady from Bangladesh who I was talking to for a while. You know, very. her English was very good as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Unbelievable. Well, so you've well, been talking about New Year's resolutions. New Christopher. Year's resolutions. What's yours? Right. Um, well, I'm going to do stuff this year. I'm going to progress. I want 100,000 subscribers, Chris. How many have you got now? Uh, oh, well, on, on my Retro Hacks channel, I think it's 63,000. Oh, well, that's almost as many as mine. Now, let me just see how many are. No, we're talking uh, triple noughts, not double noughts, Chris. Yeah, I, I think I've got... Pardon? What did you say? <laughs> what did you say, then? <laughs> I say I'm talking triple noughts, not double noughts. I, I think, I mean, that must be almost as many as mine. Let me just check my numbers. Well, how many have you got? One 60,000? 63,000. I've got... 116,000 foot... Oh, hang on a minute. No, the comma's in what? a different place. One minute. <laughs> oh, it's 11th... No, hang on. Oh. One, one move, thousand move the decimal point two places. Well, I mean, it's a start, though, isn't it? <laughs> We've all got to start uh, somewhere, uh, uh, and I only started uh, 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 that Retro Hacks channel last year. Wow. Well, I started this, God knows how many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I've I've managed to just get over the thousand, but I had to have I had to have your help to do that. In fact, I think actually, Chris, you've Martin, from to be strength to strength. To be fair you've to you, to there's, to there's quite a lot of other YouTubers that you now have helped to get over that one thousand thing uh, when you can start doing the whole monetization thing and all that now. So uh, I want to thank you on behalf of myself and my large conglomerate of companies, and in particular, all the people that I've known in the past who have died. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and indeed, the bottom of some of those coffins. Oh, my God. Isn't that a nice thing? Oh, 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 do you know, I think I can hear you crying. I can hear a little tear coming out of your eye. I uh, hate your glass eye and dropping down onto that wooden old floor of yours. Oh, no, hang on a minute. No, it sounds more like my sister's leg where the tear has fallen. That's Sharon snoring. Oh, she's not snoring now, is she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's my goal for this year. And as I say, my YouTube earnings have dropped massively uh, over 50%. For I don't know what reason. I'm producing the same content on my Retro Hacks channel, and it's dropped down 50%. Right. Uh, I do know that there's lots more people who have come on board to do that style of restoration video now. Uh, whether or not the algorithms have been playing about or whatever, I don't know. But um, And yet Retro Restore channel is starting to take off again. Now, I've decided, because uh, I put a, a, a question out for my subscribers about live streams. Live streams work for you, but apparently a lot of my subscribers aren't liking the live streams. So what I'm going to have to do is to move them over onto my Butler's Empire channel, maybe uh, once every couple of months. I won't be doing them regular every uh, week anymore. They do take a lot from me, as you probably know, to throw a show together or to just sit up and do a live stream. Uh, it can be just sitting there and, 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 and with no uh, content, maybe. Or you can actually produce content, and I take probably two and a half hours before each show, and I can basically say ta to a whole day then, because I put my show on now uh, at four o'clock, as you probably know, on a Saturday. Yes, or yes. I did do. What was the reason that... of you changing the time for your... Uh... Uh, well, I was... With a lot of my subscriber base, a lot of people are in uh, America or Canada. Yes. And their lag, time lag, is probably five to eight hours behind. Right. And as you probably know, uh, when you're streaming at two yes. o'clock in the afternoon, yes. it is probably six o'clock in their morning sort of thing, you know? Yeah. I so do... it's basically to help them out. I get emails, actually, from Americans who... Um say we love it when you do a nighttime show because then we can dry, join you live you see that's the thing when i'm doing my show at 9 30 which to be honest it's the only time i can do it in the, in the morning um when i'm doing that it's like nine eight seven six five four it's four o'clock in the morning at the earliest in the states uh three two one in some other places you know one o'clock in the morning there so they do like the late time show. So that's the same sort of thing that's happened to you. Uh, we've got a message here from English Elvis. Hello to English Elvis, who wants to know if there's any married lonely women on. <laughs> so I don't know if there's any married lonely women for the English Elvis um, who might be interested there. <laughs> well, anyway, I thought I'd just phone in and say hello, Chris. I've not seen you for such a long time. so. Um, oh, it's been at least I'll, three I'll hours, hasn't it? <laughs> Well, I don't know. Last time uh, when I saw you, you was asleep in the front of the the, 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 the minibus or the fun bus. Yeah, so so uh, yeah, but that's obviously that's not the last time I saw you. The last time I saw you, I was uh, uh, watching 
a way to put down yet another plate of free food in front of your face with many extras. Well, as I said to you, fine dining, you have more than one course, and yes. that's what I'm saying. And that's what it is that the trawlers catch, fine dining. Those plastic <laughs> forks and knives are to die for, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to go, Chris, because uh, Sharon's uh, not feeling too well. She's got a bad back at the moment, and I need to carry oh, her she... downstairs to make my supper. Oh, she was saying that earlier. She said she needed a good <laughs> clear out. Straight over his head, Sharon. She... <laughs> she's... You know what I said? She's... I'm sure about me. I said she's not feeling too well at the moment, Sharon. So she's in bed, so I'm going to have to carry her downstairs so she can make my supper. <laughs> but you're not upstairs. Unbelievable. You're not upstairs. <laughs> Um, I know. It was a joke. Oh, was Comedy, it? that's what I do. Well, she said earlier that she needed a good clear-out. That's what was wrong with her back. Oh, oh my I can, God. I can bring some of my powder over to her, my ref, she wants. Unbelievable. <laughs> Lovely show. Is there bingo on Sunday, by the there way? There will be she bingo on Sunday, 8 o'clock UK time on Sunday night. Bingo. <clears throat> Lovely. And, well, it's been uh, very nice talking to you, and as I say, I will still be moderating. I'm one of the lucky ones to have a spanner, and uh, I will be maybe using it. I don't know. Power doesn't go to my head. I don't work like that. No, I know that. Cheerio, Martin. Bye for now. <laughs> There's uh, my brother-in-law, Martin, from the Retro Restore channel. Just uh, those of you that are new to the show, a very warm welcome. We're usually here about half past nine in the morning, uh, Saturday through till sort of Saturday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday usually. Not usually in the morning on a Friday. Um, but one of the things we do on Sunday nights is bingo. Uh, we literally play bingo, OK? And there's some uh, little prizes. We've got uh, little Super Chat pens like this. OK, Super Chat pens you can win. Sorry, not Super Chat pens. Uh, but they look like this. Bingo winner pens they are. Um, we've got uh, hats at the moment. Key rings will be coming soon. And uh, some little bits and pieces. Just just fun things to do. But it's all, all part of playing, you see. We do have quite a few people playing that. Now, if you want to play with us, you need to register before Sunday to do that. Simply by sending me an email to that email address there. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Send your email there. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. And just say, please add me to the bingo. And I'll happily add you uh, to the bingo system. I'll reply to your email and say, OK, you've been added for the bingo Sunday. And then what happens at some point on Sunday afternoon, um, uh, we usually get, um, uh, I usually send out the first bingo ticket. So you'll have that anywhere between sort of 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. I'll send out the first bingo ticket and you'll get that in the email with 15 numbers on it and you can either print it out or just write down the numbers. And when we start the bingo, you just cross them off and uh, whoever wins, wins a little prize. Okay, so we do that Sunday night, but as I say, you need to register for that uh, just by sending me an email to chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk say, please add me to the bingo and I'll happily do that for you. OK, uh, we can do one more call before we disappear uh, today if you want to. Uh, 0208144 is the phone number. I'll just scroll up there to see if I, think, if I can spot anything of uh, interest to uh, everyone. Let's have a look there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm looking forward to watching Dracula, actually, when I finished on the show today. Uh, Rod Brownlow's got 4,000 4, viewers on his uh, YouTube channel. So there we go. Um, is that everyone? Chris, uh, Glenda reckons I should be a therapist. Do you think so? Should I be a therapist or something like that? <laughs> um, uh, Joanne says some people just take the mick. Don't waste your time. Just learn from it. So there we go. A little bit of advice from Joanne there. Thank you, Joanne. Hello to Pete Froud. I don't think I'll give you a name check there. So hello to you, Pete. Um, have I said hello to everyone there? I think we have. Uh, let's take that call there. OK. One more call. We'll take one more call today. Hello, Mr... 951 are you are aren't you hello who's calling in please oh you're very quiet who's that Rina. hello hello oh i've got you hello who's that prima prima Sabrina. rena Sabrina. screener is it screener yeah. hello yeah. How, do you, how do you spell that name said a r no, it said A B R I N. Oh, Sabrina. Sabrina. Hello, Sabrina. Yeah. Whereabouts are you, darling? Um, <clears throat> Corby. Where are you calling from? Corby. 
Corby. Oh, now, where's that? Is that north or south? North. Corby. Tell, tell me where that is. Is that Nottingham Way? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. Do you know where, do you, know where you are, uh, uh, Sabrina? Ark George. Eh? Hey? Ark George. You're Ark with George, George, are you? Yeah, Ark him. He will know. Is that where you live as well, with George? No. Oh, OK. Are you at your house or his? I'm at my house. Are you? And you're having a nice evening? Yeah. What time are you going to bed? Are you going to bed soon? I'm going to watch uh, Dracula when I finish the show. Um, yeah, I'm going to sleep soon, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing Dracula. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, Sabrina, you have a nice <laughs> evening, all right, darling? Yeah. Cheerio, yeah. my love. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye, Sabrina. There we are. All righty. There we go. Well, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up there, boys and girls. There's one, one more thing to do, of course. Let's just uh, scroll down there, my darlings. Scroll down there. Um, I'm glad that you're using the. Oh, what have I done there? Oh God, I've just um, I've just reduced the size of my text to like twenty percent. I can't see a damn thing now. That's it. I think I've done that. No, reset, reset. Come on, reset. What have I done there? Uh, is that all right? There you go. That's working now. I don't want. I must get that ready there. All right. Okie doke. Good. One more thing to do, very, very important. Do you know what that, do you know what that is? What have we got to do now? What have we got to do now? We've got to give out raffle tickets. Our next raffle is on Monday morning. I'm hoping it will be sometime between 9 and 10. Uh, from what I remember, I've got the bloke coming to fit my hive on, um, on Monday. I think it's him. If it's him, then he's coming between 8 and 10. Hopefully he'll, become, he'll come at the earlier end of uh, things rather than the late end, and I'll be able to get a show in uh, before the afternoon, I hope. But if it goes past 12 o'clock, though, then I've run out of time on a Monday because I'm, I'm a bit tight with the time on a Monday and, indeed, the Friday. That's why you don't get a Friday show, dear. All right, so uh, we'll do the raffle tickets. Who wants a raffle ticket for the raffle on Monday? Please only ask once. Please put ticket, please, or something like that. And then I will give you a raffle ticket while we're doing the show now. OK, I'll give you a raffle ticket while we're doing the show. Just write down your number. Well, you don't actually have to write down your number because I put your name on the back anyway. And then join us on Monday morning for the raffle. OK, so here we go. Uh, Rachel is our first one. The lovely Rachel. 946 Rachel. OK. Rachel, darling. Rachel Wheatland. Do you remember when I kept calling you Wetland? That went on for months, didn't it? All right, Rachel, there you go, darling. Uh, Heidi's still with us, 947 for the lovely Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, Roy Brownlow is 948. Low, uh, Fran Green is 949. Thank you, Fran. There's my sister, 950. Nine five one to Ian Days. Thank you, Ian. Um, <coughs> where's Ian? Oh, Scott Walker has sent a seventy-nine pence super chat. I'm rich tonight. There you go. Thank you very much, Scott Walker, for the seventy-nine pence super chat, which didn't flash up in front of me for some reason. I've had to go down the list to find that. I haven't missed any one Super Chats out up tonight. Anyone else who might have sent one. But thank you very much, uh, Scott Walker, for the 79 pence Super Chat. Very much appreciated. All right, my darlings. Uh, um, Ian Days was there. Uh, Mick Davenport is 952. Thank you, Mick. Mick Davenport. Amelia Dodd is 953. Uh, Tony King is 954. Uh, Mike Reese Ponto is 955. 955 for Mike Reese Ponto. 956 for Mr. SOS Gregorian. 957 for Stacy, who's a fantastic cook. Lovely food the other night, Stacy. Thank you very much, Rando House. Uh, there's Tay. Hello, Tay, darling. Tay, G, uh, G, F, V, Tay. She's the one with the cats. She was writing in about the cats. So, actually, was there another email to read out from earlier? I seem to remember there was a was another email, quite possibly, to read out. Can I just check that? 
while uh, while I'm doing the raffle tickets. Let's bring that up there. Um, where are we? Michael Lawrence. Thank you, Michael. Nine five nine. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Scott Walker. Hello, Scott. Nine sixty. Nine sixty for Scott Walker. Uh, as you can see, we we got really busy tonight with doing things, and uh, it it really has become quite impossible to read out every single message uh, that comes through. But I know you understand that 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 was going to happen. This uh, if the show got busier, that was always going to happen. Unfortunately, it's just how it is. Okay, I do try and pick out interesting uh, messages from people, but of course, you know. The box is there for you to chat for as well. And you can't really say, well, can you stop chatting to each other because I want to read messages. That's not right. You know, that's what it's there for, to chat to each other. But uh, one of the other sides of it is that it becomes quite difficult to pick out the interesting ones rather than reading out every single one because there's just not enough time to do that. But you get that, don't you, anyway? Uh, Mike Reese Ponto was 9... Um, 9... Uh, 955 five. where are we going scott walker we're up to scott walker aren't we 966 scott walker there's my nephew gary butler 961 uh, gary butler 961 the raffles on monday okay jerry millen 962 adrian richardson 963 um uh, there's Martin, who we were talking about, uh, 964. Gadgets and games, hello. All right, 965 for you. Thank you, 965, Gadgets and games. Pete Froud, he won last week, didn't you? Pete, have you got your, th have I sent your thing yet? What was it you won? Did you win the fridge magnet? What did you win, Pete? I can't even remember now. Have you got it yet? I can't remember what I sent you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's what I mean, you see. There's so many things going on now. I just can't remember everything, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, your ticket today, Pete, is 966. Pete Froud. Uh, Maxiety! My first ever ticket, please. Of course. 967 for uh, M Matt. Matt. Matt Ziety. I quite like that name. Does that mean anything, Maxiety? As a, are you someone who gets anxiety, maybe, or something like that? I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, Rachel remembers Wetland. It took me ages to get your name right, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, we got there in the end. Uh, 968. Mr. Mark Bowles, you're so quiet these days, Mark. I don't know why that is, dear. Have you been tied up by your wife? Oh, no, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know what I mean. Told to shut up by your wife or, or girlfriend, whatever she is. <laughs> I think she was getting a bit worried the way that you kept coming on to me, you know. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I can't believe some people do. They've got these lovely wives and they come on to me. It's not the other way around, as people here will tell you. You know, the proof is here. Uh, George Bond, 969 for George. George Bond... Uh, George, you're asking for one for your girlfriend. You can only ask for your own ticket, I'm afraid, my darling. OK, she's got to ask in her own chat name for a ticket. Otherwise, it gets really confusing. And I found we there was uh, when we first did the red tickets, I found where people say, oh, don't forget to give a ticket to so and so. And so. And no, you can't do that because it get ever so complicated. So one ticket, one name. And that's how it works. All right. Uh, and never, ever get caught asking for two tickets. Because you're taken out of the system. Because that's just cheating. We don't like cheats, dear. No cheats. Uh, is that everyone? Jason Hughes. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Can we have some thumbs up today? Give us some thumbs up. Uh, where are we now? Is that everyone? I think that might be everyone. Oh, no. We've got some more down there. David and Hemel. 970. David and Hemel. 970. Oh, got another strip of tickets. How many of you there tonight, then? I don't even know how... I don't really keep an eye on these numbers. Perhaps I should. Uh, hello, Jason. Jason Flavel is 971. I love your surname, Jason. That's a great surname. Jason Flavel. Thank you very much. 971. Um, Jason Flavel, where have we gone there? Uh, oh, gosh, there's much more of you than I thought there. 
Uh, to, there we are. Ah, Adam the Plumber. There we are. Thank you, Adam. 972. Adam, uh, have you got your pens yet? Did you get your pens in the post yet? I did ask you this morning. You might have gone. Adam the Plumber. 972, Adam. Um, won't have a ticket as I've been a bad boy. Have you been naughty, Gareth? What naughty things have you been doing, Gareth? Why have you been a bad boy? Do you not want a ticket? It's up to you. I don't know what you've done wrong. <laughs> I don't judge. I don't judge. I might comment, but I won't judge. Right, we're going to close the phone lines open now, boys and girls. Lines are closed. Hang on a minute. How do I close the lines? <laughs> uh... Lines are closed. There you go. Lines are closed, boys and girls. No more. Too I told you to call in earlier. No point. Ow. I wanted to call in. Too late, dear. Lines are closed. Boo! If you call in now, your call will still be charged for the call, and your call will not count. <laughs> All right, Adam. Where do we get to? Um, Hyde's going to make herself a drink. Oh, do you do alcohol? I don't do alcohol, Heidi. I've got a little bottle of champagne in my in my fridge. Someone gave me for last year's birthday. It's it's got a pink label on it. Begins with L. Can't remember it now. I don't really know much about drink. Um, uh, GFA Tay. This morning show. I'm afraid not, my darling. You can only get your ticket uh, up to the start of the next show. Once the next show has started, it we've moved on. So, uh, no, I'm afraid not. And unless you can always email in, you know, if you weren't able to be with us a show, you have to email in for the last show. But once we've started a show, you can't email in for the last show. So if I finish this tonight, right, you can email in for a ticket for this show. If you're watching a recording of the show right up to the beginning of the next one, which is on Saturday. OK, as soon as that starts, well, actually an hour, an hour before the next show starts. Otherwise, what I found were people were asking for tickets like two minutes before the show. And then it becomes difficult because uh, you're trying to do the tickets and start the new show. So I now say up to an hour before the next show. OK, so if the show starts at nine in the morning, you can only claim tickets up to 8 a.m. It, it gets silly. You know, what, what happens is that, I think what happens is that people notice, oh, he's doing a show, I haven't got a ticket for the last one. And then they email in. And then you're trying to do tickets and get a show going and get everything else going. No, not happening. So up to an hour before the next start of the next show. When is the next show? Ah, well, that's the thing. We don't schedule the show. The only show scheduled is the Sunday night bingo at 8 o'clock. The rest start randomly at different times. So... I, I can't give you a time, but you understand why that is. All right, Tay. There you go, my love. But you got one for today. Uh, where, where's, your, where's your thing gone? Oh, I've done yours, haven't I, Tay? I've already done yours, haven't I? Let me see. Yes, there it is. 958 for tonight, my sweetheart. All right, Tay. Thank you, darling. Um, is that everyone? There's uh, Heidi talking to each other, I think. There. Have I done everyone now? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, was it a fridge magnet? Did you get that yet, Pete? You should have that by now. That was sent out on... When did you win it? Monday? What did you win? The bingo or the... I don't know what you won, Pete. You... Have you got it yet? Have you got it yet? It should... Uh... Let's have a look. Um, Jason, that's everyone's, is it? David tried to call in, but I don't accept reverse charges. Too blooming right as well, David, you tight-fisted git. Pay for your calls. Pay for your calls. Thank you very much. Um... Mark, have you sent my pen yet, Chris? Yes. Your pen has been sent, Mark, I believe. Your pen was sent on Monday. Okay, your pen was sent on Monday. Um, there we are. All right, Tay, she gets that. All right, thank you, Tay, darling. There we are. I think that's it. Let's have a look. Dar <laughs> Darth Orgasm. Amy, any advice for coming out as gay to my boyfriend? Well, don't you think he'd already know? What a stupid comment. Do you not think it already? Do you not think your boyfriend would already know that you're gay? Dear me, strange. Hello to Jack Thomas. Welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> There's some funny things there. Oh, Darth. Oh dear, you broke a cardinal rule there. You're being really rude. We don't do rudeness on this channel, I'm afraid. Um, please go and find somewhere else to do it. I shall now block you. Thank you. Bye bye. There you go. Gone. 
Um... <laughs> Max Heidi, I suspect he already knows. That's what I just said to him. There you go. Uh, there we go. We've uh, stopped those messages coming in there. Uh, Scott wants a fridge magnet. Well, you've got to win the raffle, Scott. You need to get a raffle ticket. You've got a raffle ticket today, I think, haven't you? Oh, it's on the top there, 960. There you go. Um, you need your own Debbie McGee. Yeah, well, it's not going to be you, is it, David? It'll be someone young and pretty. And I'll have a bloke. Not a, not a, not a lady, if you don't mind me saying so. It'd be a bloke about, you know, about sort of 25, 30 years old who still looks pretty. I did look pretty once. A long time ago now. I did. <laughs> I did look pretty once. Okay, uh, joke, gang. Uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, on the show today. There we go. If I've missed anyone else out on the uh, on the raffle tickets, just email in chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk and I'll be pleased to uh, correct the error uh, of not being uh, not not spotting you in the list because there's so many flashing up. You must understand that that is going to happen now and again. Okay, so just email in uh, to the show. Uh, have a lovely uh, rest of the evening. I'm going to do myself some dinner now. I think I've got burgers and baked beans and some nice mashed potato and watch the latest instalment of Dracula. Sorry about the little technical issue we had earlier. We didn't actually get cut off, which was surprising. We just kind of dropped a few frames here and there. But um, that all seems to have worked quite nicely. And I'll see you again uh, on Saturday morning, somewhere between 9 and 11.30 on Saturday morning, OK? Have a nice evening and thanks very much for watching and listening. Cheerio now.